never beg At this point I'm fighting for pride I'm fighting for life Reputation on the line So I'm fighting for money Welcome back to Plus Two We just got done doing our KOF Grand Finals And revealing Max Mode Which was exciting for a lot of us here I don't know how y'all feel in the chat But if I were at home, I definitely would have been excited seeing a bunch of old games that I love playing. You know, Street Fighter 3, we got Samurai Showdown, you know, for Marvel. Marvel, you know, a lot of Georgia favorites. Obviously, Samurai Showdown, a little bit on the downhill, but we in Georgia do love Sam Show, and we in Georgia do love Marvel. Yeah, we, do. we sure do. I mean, I don't know if you guys were watching EVO, but it seems like there's a level of hype there until you guys saw the same team over and over again. Yeah, but, well, that's know. just the reality <laughs> of, uh, yeah, that's the game they play. Yeah. So, unfortunately, if you play Marvel 3, you will have to come to terms with uh, Zero, Zero Dante Virgil at Zero some point in your life. That's the game you play. <laughs> yeah, no, just don't die. Yeah, don't, just don't get hit. Don't get hit and you're good. Yeah, yeah you survive hit. if you don't get touched by Buster, you know. Easier said than done, I know, but you know. Or you too can also play Zero Dante Virgil. It's that easy. Just win at the character select screen. As we're in the character select screen for our Street Fighter Six tournament here at Plus Two on Block. There's going to be a really good bracket, a lot of good contenders coming back from last month's two, and we'll see how people are going to hold it down in these streets. Yeah, we got Musa versus Joel. Joel has been on Cammy since the game came out, and Musa also has been on his game since the game came out. So they are both well versed in each other's characters. Yep. Good characters in their own right too. So I don't really know why you'd want to switch off. Them. Yeah, for Just sure. Joel liberally picking Cammy to uh, try a new style. He's kind of tired of playing Joel. And Musa being a fan of DJ. Luckily for him, he's good. <laughs> yeah, a lot. Of, probably some would say the best drive rush in the game. I know. Some? Oh, I'm, well, <laughs> except DJ players. DJ players. Yeah, DJ players <laughs> potentially may say no, but I would. I would say everyone else would say that he's probably the best one. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, we're seeing a uh, little bit of. We're seeing Cammy starting to get a little bit more of the advantage here. Joel starting to press his offense. But Musa just kind of sitting back, just letting straight hits become straight hits, not letting anything become any uh, anything too punishing. But drive rush combo here into a nice little super. Now he's got the corner. We'll see what he does with it. Musa definitely on the verge of getting burnt out here. He's got to be very careful. Mm -hmm. but Cammy is also very scary in the corner. I mean, most characters are, but Cammy is especially in the corner. Well, you know who's scary when they have drive bar? Mm -hmm. DJ. <laughs> oh, and I think oh he's God. there. Here it comes. We oh, it out? he doesn't catch oh, we're not out. out. We're not at the ATM yet. Musa we're not at with the, the unoptimized ender, unfortunately. But he baits oh, the back to the knuckle and lands a jab. Yeah, you got to love that little spacing there. Man, Musa and almost. Oh, wow. Musa almost uh, regretted not spending the leader there. But. Yeah, I know, but now he's coming into this round with almost three bars. So, you know what? Could work out for him. Get a nice little early hit. That's the scary part about DJ. He's just always got a shot. Because... As simple as you saw, he shimmied into the low and he did so much damage, he was able to turn the tide. Just like this. Yeah, that was going to say, watch, speaking watch of this. damage, we are about to get some. Ooh, oh, he did. Yeah, bro. He the did. Classic. He did. I've been on the uh, other side of this combo more times than I can count. <laughs> yeah, I think at any level, if you play Street Fighter VI and you've seen DJ in the corner, you have seen this super many times because you thought, hey, I'm going to go for a throw. I'm going to go for a throw tech. And he just said, nah, uh. Not today. Well, Not unfortunately today. for people who go against DJ, DJ uh, can pretty much get his level three in most scenarios. So, much, yeah. If he's got the bar and he's got a drive rush, yeah, one of the will things, get it. Yeah, one of the things that makes characters strong in a game like Street Fighter is just having the conversion ability to go into huge damage. DJ definitely one of those characters. But Cammy also getting good conversions in her own right off of a lot of buttons that she has. Well, DJ, what, we're, what Cammy has is just consistency in the footsie game at all times across almost all matchups. Yep. Not a lot of recovery on some of her best neutral uh, footsie buttons, so that's always very nice to have. Just get a DP out of there, try to get some, get some neutral going. Musa playing very well. Right now, they're both just waiting for a hit like that, but I think Musa is going to have to maintain this pressure so this doesn't backfire against him, because as we all know, Cammy has that pseudo infinite he could always bust in. DJ does not have a, a reversal at all without uh, spending like level two. Now we're both in burnout though, so we'll. Oh no! Oh, Back in the my corner. Goodness gracious. Oh! Ooh, spiral error. I'm surprised he didn't just do a so I mean, that thing is 
It is mad. Crazy it safe when the guy's burnt out. Not quite space far enough for the stand heavy to convert, but he maintains his pressure and does the DJ thing. He uncrouches, oh. releasing his charge, but he lands the crouch heavy punch, which, as we all know, is about to piece his life up. Oh my god, Moose has just been so strong with just baiting every option from Joel so far. Musa not cashing out again in the same exact scenario as last time, but still, like last time, killing. Absolutely, and again, sitting on those three bars. Oh, wow. <laughs> he caught the fake fireball with the backspin knuckle. Well, Musa, like you said, three bars, very dangerous person right now. Very, very, but again, Joel playing this round a lot, playing this game a lot better than the first one, just being a lot more cognizant of what he's throwing out and just trying not to get baited. Oh, it's too bad. Yeah. He's up against DJ. So <laughs> guess what? You ain't playing safe enough. You can get clipped by crotch being punched, you ain't playing safe enough. <laughs> and he takes over half this man's life. Yeah, we are. And to a guess, out. Joel doesn't bite though. He doesn't bite on the guess. Which now means it's time for Joel to turn things around. Oh, oh my god. This could be game. Bur oh, oh no. no. We're not gonna spend it. Well, he, he couldn't. He has to fully charge the heavy kick oh, true. DP in order to confirm. But he should have just went straight into the level, uh, three. level three off of the juggle. Oh, oh I think he tried to read it. Oh, no. Let's see. Baiting he can him. Cash out. Oh, you think? Oh, oh no, you, yeah. you were wondering if he was going to die? I, I, boy, do I have news for you. Yes. <laughs> yes, he's going to die. <laughs> Look, I mean, I'm coming from KOF where conversions are dropped constantly. So I thought maybe, maybe there was a snowball's chance in hell, but. No, this boy Musa ain't <laughs> dropping that. That's gotcha. his best combo. Gotcha. The crouch heavy punch into whatever he wants, that's his best combo. Gotcha, my mistake Musa. I gotta put respect <laughs> on your name. I gotta put respect on it. You up 2-0, I gotta put respect on your name. Oh, they changed the format to three out of five? I think so, yeah. We are also in top eight. Well, I mean, yeah, but last time I came here, it was- It was uh, right three. Right? Oh, okay. Right. I know that Street Fighter 6 is a game that does run pretty quickly. Strive is also in the same rank where the whole bracket is 3 out of 5 most times. But. If, they, if they're doing it, it's because of CPT. Gotcha. Oh, oh nice. Getting, getting, hitting Musa with a taste of his own medicine yeah. on the... Joel definitely returning the favor from the last two games. Well, Joel says, luckily for Joel, this is a 3 out of 5. He has plenty of time to gather information, but... Not enough time to gather information on that slightly back step, the crotch medium punch that Musa loves to connect. Yep, yeah, Musa going for a lot more throw, going for a lot more throws than usual. Maybe just seeing if he can catch Joel falling asleep at the wheel because he's baited it so many times so far. Yeah, I mean he wants to give him a reason to keep talking. You know? Exactly. You always got to mix up your options, especially when you have DJ who's just has so many options he can just throw at you, and all of them very punishing in their own right. But Joel still pressing his advantage, not seeming to be too worried about it. He is up around after all. Trying to catch Musa. He's trying to hold his hold his ground. He got three bars though. I feel like he's gonna be greedy though. I feel like if he can kill with oh, oh nice reaction. Wow. He won't have to spend it. He's just gonna DJ his ass up. There we go. Now both of them going into the next round with three bars. So any hit, any straight hit could become devastating for the two of them. Oh, oh he's gonna oh, just skibbity move on gracious. in there, baby. This boy Musa is one crash being punched away from making this his game. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta love it. Yeah, sitting pretty oh, there. Joel, Joel's not he, Joel's not out yet. He also oh, oh that's it. That should be the game. This yeah, is an were, unscaled level three combo. Yep, that's it. Yeah, you were talking about downloading information. He remembered that interaction from the last time where he was seeing Joel go for another button after the heavy punch meeting. Joel just sitting back this time, letting him go for DP so he can get that combo to finish the game. Yeah, took a big risk, did not pay off. Very, very, very unfortunate for Musa. He was definitely on the cost of taking the set. But Joel has taken the information of, of the previous games as unit to his advantage. Very nice. But yeah, Joel just being unrelenting oh with the hooligan the, pressure. The ranked match. This is the ranked match. Oh my goodness. Go through the DP too. My goodness. Cammy just steamrolling. Cammy White throws some respect on her name. She got a new jacket. She got a new bag and everything. This is a new Street Fighter character, ladies and gentlemen. Nice little side kick there. Joel is doing so good, but I'm just looking at like. He just go south so quick. <laughs> the damage swing is so crazy, but oh Joel is just making every correct decision imaginable. What a steamroll. 
this Damn. perfect? Yeah, perfect. Hit him with the movie cutscene. My goodness gracious. Luckily, I'm telling you, luckily this was <laughs> three out of five. This is still two out of three. Joel would have been losers right now. Yeah, that's true. That's credit to Joel, too, for being composed enough to just go down those two games and just say, you know what? I'm chill. And I'm, I'm taking my info. There you go. I'm popping my drive rush now. It's up to you. It's up to Musa. You got to adapt to what I'm doing. Yeah, Musa's got to change his game plan. So I don't think burning yourself out and looking back to the corner is a good idea. But luckily, Joel bites a little too quickly and Musa holds up, which is completely normal to do when you're burnt out like that. Gotcha. And Cammy also getting burnt out herself, knowing that DJ's in uh, burnout himself. So, you know, not too, not too hesitant to pop that little drive impact. I would like to see more. Uh, Light cell bots out of uh, Musa when they're burnt out. Yeah, it's, it's so safe and strong when your opponent's burnt out. But oh nice. no, Again. Joel! Unfortunately, he could block, but I don't know what he went for. I don't know if he subconsciously went to drive impact, but it gave him a counter hit, so he must have pressed something. Quite possibly. Right, I'm gonna throw out a little bit. Oh my gosh, get the drive rush into it. So scary! Oh, oh no. my gosh! Yeah. He didn't level three. What a greedy guy! What a greedy guy! Musa, the greediest, the greediest, <laughs> the greediest. The the Musa, the greediest. Up, he, he did, did it again. again. He's just not. A, he's oh, not he's afraid. dead. I'm up around. Oh my oh. god! That was the game. Oh, my oh gosh, he's, yeah. dead. he's dead, yeah. he's dead, he's yeah, dead. Yeah, I didn't block that. Moose's green nose no that. bounds. <laughs> Should have won four times, but he still manages to clinch the win. Yeah, man, we were, we were sitting here in the booth just going, I can't believe the audacity, the, the pure unmitigated gall that was to insane. wake up DP twice and then still press an option on the other person to wake up. But That's not when the grease started. The grease started when he didn't want to end his combos with level three. He did two combos, no level three, and then he did that shenanigans. And luckily, he didn't lose, you know? Yeah, I mean, look, again, like you said, things can go south so quickly. So when you want to press the advantage, you most times you want to try to take that chance, but the greed, again, like you said, paying off, and we will see Musa advancing long and into the bracket. And Joel still had a very good set, and we will see him later in loser. So I'm very excited to see what he drums up while he's in yeah. the back against the corner. I think Joel did a very good job adjusting, but unfortunately, uh, DJ's definitely one of those punchers chains characters where if you can land the hit, you can make it happen. Yep, yep. And I think uh, Musa was riding his momentum, like you said, very well. And able to maintain his win. And now we got another DJ. Oh, baby. We got another DJ coming up. <laughs> this guy walking up, talking shit after dropping his combos. <laughs> he said, did I win, though? Did I win, though? <laughs> That's all that matters. Was it scoreboard? Scoreboard. But yeah, DJ just, DJ just lets you get away with a lot of stuff, too. And I mean, look. All credit to, all, I mean, I can play him too, you can play him too, so we, we can get mad at DJ all he wants, that's just the character. That's just the character. So. I mean, I'm not mad at DJ. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he does have a point, I do play everybody. Yeah. But DJ is whatever, man. Yeah. There's more, there's more worse characters in the game. I think Cam is personally. Cammy is, I think some people would say, I think there are some, there's a school of people who think that she's the best character in the game. I, don't and know. I think Ken is Ken, Guile, and Luke are definitely the best. I have, I have Ken, JP, and then and like, JP. And then the How can I forget stuff. that guy? <laughs> no, like, the, well, because you thought he was an NRS character. You thought this isn't an MK1 stream. This is a Street Fighter stream. So you forgot. JP is like just as criminal as like damage wise as DJ, and even more disgusting in most scenarios. He's the only character I know in this game that can do his reversal option and kill you. Yeah, absolutely. It's just. It's a mini game, basically, playing around JP's options. It's just, you know, he can put you in just, he can put you in hell with so many different things. And then, you know, you return to neutral, quote unquote neutral. Yeah, neutral for yeah, me. Quote, 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 Not quote, for him. Just there. <laughs> I'm there, in full screen mix. There. Hello. There. So you got to hold that. Oh, no. but yeah, I think the cool thing about Street Fighter Six is that a lot of characters are very strong in their own right. They have a lot of tools that can just absolutely take games for you so and i think that speaks to the balance of the game honestly i, I don't we complain about ken jp luke and all that stuff but you know in comparison to other games i think street fighter has a very good cast of characters that allows you know everyone can cook everyone can cook some can cook more often than others that's true yeah but that's just the nature of any 
game. Any game. It's impossible to make a game perfectly balanced. Yeah. But I think they did a pretty good job. There's just a couple outliers, but you know, for the most part, it was pretty good. I really, any complaints about balance are just like people upset. Yeah. Uh, in the moment, you know, people get upset in the moment. Yeah, it's moment. the it's the post O2 running the Twitter yeah. being like, oh my god, you know. Lily, Lily can do what off of, oh, off boy, of block? <laughs> boy, I'm angry. I hope my fingers don't say something insane on the internet right now. Okay, so we got the boy, Arsenal, versus what's goody. I know both these players. I have not played with Arsenal since the game came out, honestly. But I play with what's goody every single day. And he has definitely came a long way since my first uh, caught back up with him at yeah, 404. Very good to see. Yeah, we're seeing a, we're seeing some jury acting here for the first time in bracket. Character that I'm personally very fond of. I actually switched off from Manon to jury because this character has just so many great options, a lot of low committal buttons that are just pretty much good in a lot of different matchups. She's definitely a contender for best drive rush, right next to right next to DJ. So, DJ. We'll, so we'll see, you know. Hootly, yeah, we're gonna see today little, who's got the better drive rush. A little bit of a stream contest, if you know what I mean. Oh, All right, nice hot. overhead off of the drive rush, as you mentioned. That's probably death if he wants to spend it. Oh, oh well, there you go. We're talking about greed, not finishing uh, your combos to get the food, but again, pays off sitting on two bars going into this round. That raw dash is kind of nice. I'm surprised he was there. But he, does, he did play Street Fighter Five, and there was a lot of that. Feng Shui what? combos, baby. This is what, uh. make, this is what makes the character cheap to me. Feng Shui? Yeah, yeah. this shit is cheap. It's very good. She still got it, by the way. I know. That's why it's cheap as hell. You see how long this shit lasts? Yep. It oh, I think it, it, I think it just ran out before he wanted to continue that combo. Poor Goody getting overwhelmed by this jury offense. Just matching on pretty much every approach that what Goody is throwing out. That's going to be game one for Arsenal. Just not really respecting a lot of DJ's options. Which is, if, if Goody could just call out Arsenal's incredibly risky decisions once, he can make it work for him. But Arsenal's not really having to pay for some of the more insane decisions he's making. Exactly, which is crazy because I think Jury's offense, you can keep it really tight. You can keep it really safe, especially even against DJ. Oh, his oh gonna be there. there we go. That's there the money go. hit. So if you can just keep calling Arsenal out for just overextending on the pressure, then... You know, he can run this back, but that that uh, throw base is not going to do him any favors. Yeah, unfortunately, he got out of the corner, and what's good? Oh, Ooh, what a good parry. Oh, 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 it, it was, was so high up air. that it knocked him out of the air. I actually have never seen that, where the crotch heavy anti-air has been knocked some full screen. I've never seen that. Yeah, I honestly think maybe it would have been more beneficial for him to just throw Jerry into the yeah. corner there. But it's possible if he had did it, he would have thrown him missed. True. Because it was so high that the cross fear stalked him out of the air. He would have whipped. True enough. So there you go. Jerry in the corner. Feng Shui again. You'd love to see it. This I mean, I do. I don't know. I hate this. I, I hate this. Person has to be I hate this dumb shit. My goodness gracious. <laughs> it just doesn't end. It doesn't end. Oh it God. doesn't end. It does not end. This is a Feng Shui. That timer is so long, man. That engine runs on Energizer batteries. I play when I feel like when I play Jamie, my my damn drinks, my damn drink install runs out after like three hits. Is, she gets like seven combos. Well, she needs it. I mean, she don't need that shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good starting ooh. off really strong this round. Good anti-air. It just seems. I mean, you know, this is probably a dumb thing to say, but it just seems like the player who's been able to press their advantage first. Has just been able to steamroll the other one. Yeah, it really is the case. Both players' defenses have been crumbling after the other player oppresses them. And these are two extremely oppressive characters. Probably next, to, like in the same line as Ken, as just being absolutely overwhelming to deal with on defense. Yeah, I mean, once they put something on you, you surely are guessing if you're going to get, you know, obliterated right then and there. And they can both cash out on so much damage off of just getting them to guess wrong once. So it's a really dangerous game for both uh, players here. But Arsenal is doing a really good job just holding down pressure. Pop a DX Fireball, okay. Good thing to know Arsenal. jump out, that was really good. Nice. Good thing to know Arsenal has been very liberal with the Fang Oh! Oh my goodness! I thought he was gonna level three his ass. <laughs> I did it. Oh, he oh, did! That could be That's it. it! He's that dead! It. The man's dead! There we go. Uh. Yo, wake up, Mon. 
He said, wake up and smell the Folgers, baby. I'm taking oh, this game. Does. I knew it. No, I, yeah, you got, I've been hit you, so many you times. You got on me about not being able to kill last time. Combo. I knew it was killing this time. I knew. I, I knew. knew. But it was, put, it was frame perfect, though. I would have put all my channel points on the line for that. I would have put all my channel points on the line. I, I knew that was killing. But. I've been killed by that shit so many times. I just know. What's good? He finding oh. his rhythm now. Oh, Turning it around on Arsenal. Arsenal now on Ooh. the defense, not responding to what's good. He's offense. My goodness. Yeah, it's a perfect. Dancing hey. on him. Let's go. It's showtime, baby. Just moseying in on in there with the skibbity woo. I'm telling you, what's good? He is actually a really good player. And I don't doubt it. Unfortunately, uh, he, it seems like he plays very nervous when he comes to tournament, but I'm seeing him right now awaken. He's awakening. Yeah, it seems like he's playing a lot more loose in these last couple games. He's just like, you know what? I'm already down 2-0. I've got nothing left to lose, so let's keep it up. And we've set, we've got rhythm. We've got rhythm on the player bunch, ladies and gentlemen. That level two perfectly executed. Now Arsenal's got to put him in a little bit of a blender. That was so dangerous of Arsenal. Had if he had the answer that drive impact, he would have lost right then and there. But what's good? He burns himself Ooh. out for the pressure. Feng Shui Andrew, Potentially going to lose here, depending on how this Feng Shui mix goes. It's a lot, too, because DJ's also sitting in burnout. So oh, he's got, he oh my it, goodness gracious. Blocks it. It's safe because he's burnt out. Shit ain't going to hang. <laughs> you got to think. I was going to say, that bur that drive impact is coming. He's burnt out. It's a lot to deal with. It's a lot. You got Feng Shui. You got to deal with drive impact. And you're just going to DP out of there because I don't want to block any oh, of it. Oh, no. And I don't blame him. That's just going to do it again. Unnecessary risk. He was really at, wasn't really at risk at losing because he was burnt out. He should have just held back. Yeah, as mad unfortunate, but again, it's just, as we noted earlier in the set, it's super oppressive, and you just want to get out of there at all costs. He's up a game, he said, maybe nice. this works out. Ooh, he's burnt out too. This is going to be a turnaround for him for sure. There yep, you go. Into Side the switch, corner. baby. Oh, Mash is That was an insane wake up jab, though. It worked out, so, you know, whatever. Okay. Good damage here. Can he get that third bar? Yeah, he can. Are you asking me if DJ can get that third bar? Well, I mean, you were the one who said it wasn't going to kill last no, time. No, I said it's, it's going to kill. She's not dead. She's not dead. Oh, she ain't dead, but she's gonna. This be is not fun. It's she's, not fun. She's mentally dead. <laughs> it's not fun. You gotta, you gotta hold this. Next touch is gonna hit. Oh my gosh, Arsenal's gonna have to start taking some, start taking some risk here. Oh, Feng Shui engine, no, the comeback bro. mechanic of the century coming in here. Yeah, he's gonna be carried all the way uh, to the uh, corner uh, for a potential drive impact. Carried being the optimal word here. Oh, oh my goodness gracious! Or what a, for a crazy mix-up that doesn't pan out. Oh man, now we're going to game five. What a risky mash on wake up there, but again, it pays off, you know? If it work, look, if it works, you're smart. If it doesn't work, you're sitting here like, what the hell were they thinking? Yeah. These two momentum-based characters, it really is just whoever gets out of the gate swinging. Mm. Get, oh get my faded, gosh. obliterated for half his health. Ooh, a little bit of nice. a mix-up. Empty jump low there. One more guess. Oh, that's just, oh, didn't confirm. Didn't confirm it. Oh, breaks through the drive impact. That's it. Oh, yeah, He's baby. dead on this round. Oh, oh he, he drops the combo, but he good anti-air from what's good to recover his little deficit he had. Yep, a little bit of a little bit of nerves getting there, trying not to finish, or not able to finish the combo, but able to compose himself at the right time to get that anti-air. Feeling each other out this time. Both players not actually eager to hit start on the engine here. Oh, he did. I say, yeah. I say that, but I'm more like, in my head, I'm like, this is all downhill from here. <laughs> Able to jump out, though, and put DJ back in the corner. Nice little heavy punch and drive rush combo. Going to spend Feng Shui Engine. We'll see how, we'll see what he can do with this little pop here. Oh, gonna... And all I see is him building him that third bar. Yep, yep. There it is. There it is. <laughs> now that's, he's going to eat is. the level three. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Great. Oh, oh, wait, we got a pause. Don't know who pressed it, but I'm assuming it was Arsenal. Yeah, they're letting it rock, so. <laughs> they're letting it rock. Oh! oh, yeah, it didn't matter anyway. You're gonna get That boy Goody conquering his nerves. I'm glad that boy Goody was able to conquer his nerves for once <laughs> and show out what he could do. Good stuff to Arsenal as well. Yeah, ain't no better way to show that you're getting over your nerves and coming back down 2-0 against a character like Jury and just saying, you know what, I'm chill. Uh, obviously, I was hella biased. Like I said, I play, I play him all the time, like every day. But that's good. I, I was, I was secretly rooting for the jury. I'm not gonna lie, because I, I, as much as I don't like the character itself, I think that, she, I think that she's very fun, and also I made her so a little bit of main. 
I can't root for Luke. Ain't nobody playing that character. I don't know why. Luke's strong. He's boring. I don't want to play Luke. I, I don't know if I'd call Luke boring. Like, are, are you, yeah, Reeves not, was more boring Why are you Luke? not playing Luke? Why am I not playing Luke? Because I like Jerry. No, he's boring. <laughs> That's why he's not playing Luke. <laughs> <laughs> the only Look, people that play Luke are, are, are like... 13 year old dudes that like Blossom or something. Saying, oh, like, like they saw the funny yeah, Memphis they saw the, meme. Yeah, they saw the Memphis meme yeah, or something. Boom, divorce. This character's hilarious. Kids on Adderall <laughs> play Luke, and people who are really trying to win play Luke. If you don't need either of those, you're not going to play Luke. Actually, speaking of 13 year olds, I don't know if you know Smug. Uh, at 404, there's a 13 year old, I think he's 13, who rolls around. And he plays Luke as well. And he's I actually, know. yeah, oh, you, yeah, you I heard. Know that guy. Yeah, yeah. What's his name? Smug? Yeah, smug or something like that. Yeah, he's, he's actually pretty solid. I saw him beat a Dalsim, and he actually showed more patience than I would, which I don't know if that says more about him at a young age or me as a 25-year-old just being like, dude, I don't want to. Like, I'm not sitting here. I'm not being patient. This is stupid. <laughs> Dalsim, like, Dalsim is just, I think we were talking about characters that we hate. I think for me, it, it has to be Dalsim. I do not like that character. I think that Dalsim is more boring than Luke because it's just, you know what you're getting. Yeah. And it's just not fun for anybody to watch or play against. And I know it's not fun to play as. It can't be. Trust me. That character ain't boring. When you play him, every every decision's life or death. Man. It's hard to be boring when every decision you make is like Fair hard enough. to line. Fair Trust enough. me, I, I quit because it was too exciting. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I can't handle this mentally. This is too much. This is too like I'm just I'm teetering on the brink of death with yeah. every interaction. I would press like one button and I get driving back. I'm like, you know what? I'm not built for this for someone else. <laughs> I can't handle this mentally. Every time I press a button, I'm wondering if I'm gonna lose the whole round. Yeah, I know. But defaulting to Luke, I feel like I feel like that's a pretty good trade off. You know, I would say. Ooh, popping the Zangief. Let's go. Oh, I didn't see that was cracking in the chair. Yeah. Yeah, that boy cracking. He's up. There we go. Data. Oh Big yeah, command data throw. Oh, let's go. A little bit of a grappler off. Let's see. Yeah. Let's see who. Uh, let's see who can put. Let's see who can get the vortex started first here. You see uh, Nemo's tier list he put out. No, I haven't seen it. What? They put Geef in like A. I I don't know about all that. I, know. I don't know. I wouldn't call Nemo a dumb player, but I mean, Yeah, I mean I don't but he be fighting he design, so maybe he's like fair. Yeah, he's just like, man, this he is well, I mean, <laughs> He's like, man, I get, I lost two interactions and I died. This character's stupid. Yeah. Which is fair though. If, if Zangief gets started, it, it's a, it's an uphill battle for the other player. So we'll see if uh J Shells can get going here. But Manon also strong in her own right, getting the uh, getting the steamroll started herself. Oh, oh, who was first? Oh, let's go. That had to be milliseconds apart. Oh, I think he probably could have killed her. Kraken on. Oh, oh my oh gosh, my it's God. not. It's not a true. It's not. It's not. <laughs> Kraken, unfortunately, is the uh, reason why he was he's so burnt out already. Oh wow, that's gonna go definitely hit. Yeah. Jack Hammer. Jack Hammer. <laughs> oh, hypest move in the game is not close. Oh my gosh. It looks right at the camera. <laughs> that guy drops it. He's, he's a showman for sure. He is a showman. Look, so, we, go ahead. Uh, Kraken, that first match, he spent all his bar doing a dry rush DX from there, bro. And that's how he ended up burnt out in the first place. I'm wondering if he's going to just do it again. Because, I mean, that's a that's like a four bar mix or a five bar mix. Oh, look, wow. Maybe you won't have to do it. Oh, now he's say, just going to spit the bar again anyway. Look, you got to risk it to get the biscuit. And, you know, I, think that, I, I totally understand that mentality, but I also would like to see him not lose immediately. Yeah, that's true enough. Hurting true himself. Enough. <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah, it was it was really funny with that previous game's interaction where he got SPD'd out of the overhead. That's one of the reasons why I dropped Manon is just the fact that it looks like she leaves the air or leaves the ground with that, but you are still on the ground during that, so. Yeah, those days are over, man. Yeah. We left we left the air, slightly airborne moves in Street Fighter 4. <laughs> I remember when Rose's closed medium kick was airborne. Yeah. And then you just needed the people who close medium kick all day, every day. Oh, not able to get the drive rush conversion on the medium kick, though. Yeah. Gonna spend some meter to get Zangief off, I understand. But now you are burnt out from those two yeah. bars that you spent. Yeah, this is not a good look for him. Oh, he yeah, that's out. death. Yep, it's time to get serious. Ugh. Last For my loyal fans. Man, yeah. That'll do it to you. That's the A-tier character right there. Unfort yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean he put he put Geef like A, I think, and then he put Manon like B. Something like 
Yeah. That's a very, I think that's a pretty, just, I think that's just an optimistic tier list in general. Cause I think Manon, she has some good stuff, but I think that she's just lacking in a lot of crucial departments that other characters just have that are better. Like a drive rush, kind of. Oh, no, oh, we got a disconnect. Not on I think like it's on this. Kraken, yeah. And Kraken can't even complain because it's his tournament. Damn. So he can't say it's a hardware problem. It's his controller, too. Yeah, that's unfortunate, too. It was such a it was such a strong game one from him, too. You were thinking he was going to start capitalizing on the momentum, but... I wonder if his controller became unplugged or if he... Mother Bo the uh, board is bad. He was messing around with it a little bit before uh, we were playing KOF. It's, I think it's a victory stick, so he was messing around with it a little bit. So I don't know if uh, I think you might be right. I think it might be, it may be a motherboard issue because the cord doesn't really fall out on the victory controller. So I don't know. We'll see what's going on here. Hopefully we can figure it out so we can get back to action because it's uh, almost like it's in PS4 mode. Maybe you can't get into the game. Maybe. Yeah. We're doing a little bit of uh, troubleshooting here, I'm trying to figure it out so Kraken can get back into the game. Like I said, we saw a really, really strong game one from him, so kind of seeing this momentum get sapped from it is a little bit of a killer, but hopefully he can pick it back up. He can pick it back up, hopefully. Unfortunately, I think that goes to Jay Shells. I would think so, yeah. So now we're playing the best of three. He is playing on that Vitrix stick. I wonder if that's... Yeah. I was in the market for a new leverless, and uh, oh, this is the stick though. So I don't know. I don't know. You in the chat, you might know a little bit more about stick talk than I do. So, <laughs> so what are you trying to get? Like a hitbox or something? I mean, I have a hitbox now, but the fact that I, you know, I come to an event and I'm like, oh, guys, by the way, I don't mean to be that guy, but you can't put me on a PS5 setup. You know, I don't want it. Like, I, I kind of hate that. So I was looking at maybe either getting uh, a leverless Victrix or a Kitsune, maybe. You can always pay to have your uh, board removed and modded to work on PS5 and PS4. That's true. That's true. I could do that. That's what I did. Yeah. I spent so much money on uh, customizing the art and stuff, too. So, you know. Exactly. <laughs> I have all reliable behind me. I have my PS, I have my Xbox 360 Ooh. Street Fighter 4 TE from Vanilla Ooh. Street Fighter 4. All righty now. I didn't, I didn't know we had a I didn't, well yeah I'm old you know, I, I, I was gonna say I was gonna say cultured I was gonna say cultured not old I was not gonna say old Street Fighter 4 not even that look okay speaking of old I actually this is my leverless stick <laughs> oh actually actually that's fresh that's that's mad fresh I like that a lot oh man this thing is so beat up I've had this for so long it's seen it's seen the it's <laughs> it's seen the test of time it's weathered a lot of battles. You know how much time I put on this stick to learn, like, <laughs> pianoing, all, all, just for them to remove pianoing? That's what I'm talking about. And make it a quarter circle forward? Uh, I'm watching them play uh, Strive over there. I might have, I think I, I can't remember, but I, I did enter that, so I got to see, uh, see what they're playing over there. So. You know if you're up soon, or? I don't think so. They haven't really called it. I mean, it was supposed to start at 3, but they haven't really called it. So it's, still, it's, it's not a lot of people in the bracket, so it will, it'll just be like, boom in and out. Plus, I play bike, and if I throw somebody, if I grab somebody, they're dead, and I can just move on with my life after 20 <laughs> seconds. So, look, all the characters that I play, every single game, every single fighting game that I play, Blaze Blue, Guilty Gear, KOF, Street Fighter. I play characters that are designed to get me in and out of the game as quickly as possible. But I don't want to be sitting in that chair forever. Fuck, man. I play Bullet. I'm a hey, man of culture, bullet player right here. I, I play bullet. I land five C. I get my yeah. I get up and I leave. <laughs> he's like, ah, he's like, ah, GGs, bud. GGs, man. GGs. Why should have just not gotten hit? This is a low tier character, BT Dubs. All right. Uh, Speaking so of low tiers, we're back into the action with some I, <laughs> over thingy. I guess they're trying to even up the rounds to start off where they left off. Oh, so we're not gonna give it to J Shells? No. Nah, I think. Oh, ah, okay, no. okay. All right, so. Hey, Kraken still got the lead. Okay, cool. All right, gotcha. makes sense. Appreciate it. Goes for the overhead there. Gonna match it. Oh, a lot, a little bit of spaghetti there in neutral, but it's gonna pay off in Zangi's favor with the SPD. Cross up. Not going. Oh, there it goes. Yeah. I miss that he says that. Oh, I, this should be a oh. big punish. Oh, he didn't take it. 
It's just this is still very much in his favor though, because a burnt out Manon cannot really do much against uh, a block button from Geef, but it looks like he's maintaining his offensive pressure very yep. well, but he did a good uh, call out there. Jack Hammer! Jack Hammer! Yeah! <laughs> we are even up we are evened up here in game two, ladies and gentlemen. Man, but yeah, you were right about Manon and Burnout. Uh, again, that's one of the things that I think is just really tough about her is that it takes a lot. She needs, she her offense is very resource oriented, and where there's a lot of other characters that don't necessarily need that. So if she doesn't have any drive gauge, her offense is gone. On the on the on the flip side, if they're burnt out, you press stay immediate punch six times. Really. True enough, yeah. And you, and you you know you wait for them to hit level one. If they don't hit level one, it's just like, well, I'm, I'm you know I'm gonna keep swinging my arms, and if you get hit, it's your own fault. Speaking yep. of which, SPD, hold that. Yeah, the boy cracking <laughs> one. Despite the uh, crazy scenario with his arcade stick there. Yeah, he said, what break? I'm still here. I'm still here. Now, I think for this matchup in particular, this is what, when I was, <coughs> excuse me, when I was still playing Mano, this was a matchup that I actually liked in her favor. Um, even though you would have to win a lot more interactions, she has a lot of really, really good buttons, the medium kick, the crouching medium kick, that I think that J Shells could be using a lot more to keep cracking that bay so he can't get his approach going. Yeah. But he's been really solid with the parries and the anti here, so in the, in a way, if you can pre prevent him from jumping in at you, that's still just as good. I would like to see more combo conversions into medals. That's really what I would like to see. He's not really forcing his metal game as often as I would like. But yeah, you should get one here. There you go. Like me personally, when I play the non, I try to always convert stand jab mm -hmm. into drive rush jab back at me. Right. Into the parallel way, like that's like an extra metal. I don't care how expensive it is. I'm going to no, get I that mean, metal. Look, you want the character to, you want her to be as scary as possible because that's when the mix start opening, mix starts opening up for her. Yeah. Once you get to that third metal, the other player sitting there like, okay, I got to really be cognizant of that command grab. And as we get to metal number four here, yeah, now he's the we're going to see a lot more jumping out of Zangief on defense. So, Unfortunately, he jumped backwards. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, Ooh, nice tech so, on the I'm grab. so surprised Kraken didn't SPD. Good anti-air, though. Nice little lariat. Oh, that's oh, it. Wake up. Oh, wake oh, up. Oh, no. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> my command grab is better than yours. Yeah, have a front. Hold that. This is punish counter damage too, baby. <laughs> Come back when your command throw starts up in the frame. Let's go. These people came to see me. These people came to see me. I am everyone's favorite grappler. I've been here for years. You just got here. My goodness gracious. Geef is actually, I think, invincible for on the, the level three. Yeah. On the level three for like five frames during the throw and a little bit afterwards, I think. Yeah, it's actually the lack of invincibility or the lack of starter that you get in the level two is more than made up for with the level three. So it worked out in his favor here. Not able to get the car target combo for the air uh, anti air, but Zangi is still in the corner. So pop that drive impact right out of there. Convert that into a medal. Five medals. It's getting real scary here to be against I mean, next throw wins. He wins. The, he lands a command throw. He's dead. Yep. He's got his guess. Oh, oh I don't know. good anti air. Yeah, I oh think, no! Maybe was gonna try to catch him, try to Ooh. catch him trying to. I don't really Good know what he was going for. Here. Yeah, cracking, not cracking, under pressure. Yeah, I'm not really sure what. Um, I'm not really sure what Jay Shells was going for by trying to stay in the air as much. I think it would have been a little bit more beneficial for him. <laughs> Jay Shells not wanted to hear it. <laughs> Yeah, but that's going to be cracking. Even through the technical difficulties, stand strong, commanding game from the Zangief, and that's going to move him later in the bracket. So, I don't, like, towards the end there, I'm not entirely sure what was going on with trying to be more in the air with Manon, but there is probably an option that he was trying to fish out. Yeah. I feel like Manon's not very strong, though, if you can't stand your ground. Yeah. If you feel like you have to jump with Manon, you've probably already lost. No. There's a, obviously, there's some French cases like, uh, you know, Guile, who just cannot contest him. Yeah. But if, you're, if your uh, ground game is not strong enough to always stay on the ground with Manon, you're probably not going to have a fun time because you're, you're scariest and you're going to convert with that crop mean much or whatever. Absolutely. And I feel like the risk reward is not really in her favor for a lot of characters with air to air interactions because, mm -hmm. you know, you win the air to air, air to air, great. You know, that's fine. We're still back to the ground and we're still playing the same game. But if you're staying, like you said, if you're staying on the ground, you get the anti air target combo to bring them towards you, you convert into a metal. There's just a lot more in your favor. But, you know, who knows? You know, 
if it worked, we would be sitting here being like, oh, what a genius play. So, yeah. You know. Because we'll he jumped the command throw, and he's like, oh, how did he know? Yeah, true, true. <laughs> he was looking for EXSPD, I don't know. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, we're going to get into the next match here pretty soon. Are you? Uh, what have you been liking so far from the bracket, from uh, the matches that we've seen? What have you been What have you been enjoying? I definitely enjoyed watching this DJ play for both the DJ players, because it just affirms my belief that if DJ touches you, you lose. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean... We were talking about characters being able to cash out on any stray hit, DJ definitely being one of those. So it, it's, it's, just, it, it's just exciting, because to me it's like, well, the guy's winning. But uh, I don't know how long that's gonna last. <laughs> and the DJ's made like one throw and the guy's dead. I'm like, yep. It's like, like you know, you're on you are on a timer with, with mm -hmm. DJ. You're on a timer and you know that timer can your time can be up real quick if you're hitting the wrong button. And the bases are loaded. Full count, three, two, swinging for the fence. Or I'm up. I got three, one. I got another strike to play with, you know. And I'm hitting this one out of the park. Oh, there you go. You got your loot. Oh, you got some your loot. loot. There play. we go. But Cammy sitting on the other end here. So a battle of uh, two characters that a lot of people believe are gunning for best in the game. So, but I believe as you go on the other side, you go one four oh four yesterday, I believe. Yep. Yep. Took it over, I believe he took it over Jazzo's Ken in uh, Grand Finals, so. <laughs> Jazzo. I've only played Jazzo one time, and that poor kid, that guy tried parrying me as an anti and I threw the shit out of him. He looked like he had never been thrown before in his life. So, he was full flabbergasted. Like, you can to jump it? Well, no, it's very funny, too, because I feel like a lot of people, especially because you're playing against Ken, you're just on your back foot the entire time, and so when you just pop throw, you're just like, wait a minute, what? Someone's, being, <laughs> someone's playing active defense? Excuse me? Yeah, I was definitely... It was definitely, I, it's, I'll never forget that. Because I looked at his face, he looked so funny. I'm like, what the hell? Uh, all right, yeah, we're all right, so I've never seen the Dumbo here, but he <laughs> cleaned up Hugo that first round. He did spend two bars on it, though. But yeah. That was a mad, that was a mad strong uh, little bit of footsies there in the beginning to open up that opportunity to get into that level two. Oh, my goodness, and again. I like the use of that back heavy push. Luke just has so many good buttons to just catch you. Oh, oh he did. But he, especially to catch a deep wake up DP like that. He's hard. He's hard. Uh. Oh, oh man, it just that's for the combo. That did so calling much out every defensive option taken. Yeah, you go not wasting a lot of time there. Maybe you, I don't know. Maybe I want. I kind of would have wanted to sort of recollect re myself. But good hey, bait. there we go. I, you, you go. Take it his ass to the corner immediately. Oh, nice little hooligan to mix, but not able to open up you quite yet. But is able to still keep him towards the corner. Not anymore, though. We're at back mid-screen. Good catch by uh, Dombo. He's going to take him to the corner as well. Nades on the parry, but doesn't capitalize on it. Jumps out the corner. You think he wants to bait out a throw? I, was, yes. I, just, I just have a guess. I have a guess. Well, he's landing that back heavy punch so many times. <laughs> <laughs> he definitely wants to. Man. But Hugo does not respond quick enough, and now he's going to be burnt. Oh, never mind. Oh, I was just saying he yeah. burnt out in the corner, but looks like the Dumbo is going to be burnt out as well. Ooh, takes the throw. It actually goes for the throw that time, too. The so. Dumbo and Hugo are, have equal Ooh. chance to win, but now the... Oh! Oh, popping the super. Catches them. Uh. Now... Now both. the mix is on. The mix oh. is on. You're dead. Oh! Oh, he lives. Actually, Rising uppercut, baby. Good I, reactions there. Is he a modern? Unfortunately, Hugo did not jump forward. He should have neutral jumped and jumped forward. I think he can jump out of that super. Early. True. I think he can. He was able to jump backwards, right? So he yeah, he was able to. Yeah, he wasn't able to. Hit I thought he was going to try to stand his ground in the spiral arrow, so that's why I was like, oh, you're dead. So. If Dumbo really worked with his back heavy punch like crazy. I'm surprised he's laying the back heavy punch punish count on a throw. Oh, yeah. He said, I'm not going for that infinite. I'm not going for it. Here goes beast mode. Boom! Dang. All right, now you are in the corner. A little out of range of that overhead. But we're going to get a nice little drive rush combo to get out of the corner. Are we going to get the overhead start up? No! He's going to whiff as he's falling back down, and that's going to be another game. <laughs> he also thinks it is two out of three. I also thought it was two out of three. Yeah, Dumbo was just like, I'm, look, I, I played Luke. I'm trying to get out of here, man. <laughs> oh, wow. The, the fully charged into nothing. The truest I cannot the true believe combo. how many times that Dumbo has landed back heavy points on punish counters. On non, th like, on throw attempts, that shouldn't even reach. I don't know if Hugo is just 
regularly pressing throws too quickly. I think it's also because, um, oh, oh the no. knives. It's the first time he's responded with DI. I think it's also because when we see Yugo play, he goes for that a lot himself. So that might be top of mind for him as he's sitting on defense, going like, okay, I think this this is an option that I got to be cognizant of. But. Yeah, but it's almost not even walking forward. He's just doing like crouch, doing clutch back at me. Right. He's just he's catching Yugo pressing throw. He's not even shimmy. He's just standing in place. It's not even. Oh wow. Oh, that gonna, yeah. That was supposed to be for a dive kick, but there was no dive kick. But luckily for him, that shit still is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, we're now we're plus there, but See, he does like, not care. Yeah, you're right. Like how? He's just landing it like crazy. I think it's just it, it's, at this point it's just got to come down to spacing. Could have had the punish oh, there. He's a full punish here. Yeah. Uh huh. Are we gonna spend it? We are spending yeah, it. Yeah, he's baby. gonna burn him out. And then now one of only one of these characters is a stupid ass infinite block screen. Yeah. But I know the Dumbo responded in kind to the uh, pseudo infinite earlier, so we'll see if he's going for it again. Uh, I don't think he's gonna do it every time. Yeah, ah, go for throw there. There we go. That's definitely is something that once you're cognizant of. Oh, oh back heavy punch. Why oh, does he, he, kill. he keeps getting caught? Like, I just don't get it. I, like, I know the range on that is very, very good. But, I mean, at this point, I think it's just. Well, you you have to understand the reason why I'm baffled is that you go. Okay, so here's the, here's what's happening. The Dumbo's present crotch medium punch, back heavy punch, right? There's still walking. So Hugo is seeing him do crouch medium punch and then press and throw on block despite the Dumbo not even walking forward. So he's like mashing throw on block when yeah. he shouldn't. There's no visual indicator that he's gonna be thrown. And so he's getting caught with punish counter like crazy. Yeah, because he, he's that you can see him, he's going for that option over and over and over again. Even like I said, even when he's not really in range, it just seems to be the Dumbo's bread and butter here, even when it's not necessarily, you know, in this position that's the most threatening. So, I would go as far to say if you go to stop getting hit by that damn back heavy punch, you could probably clinch the four games. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And honestly, just take the throw. Because we've seen that, you know, Hugo in the grand scheme of the set has, I think, one more interactions between the two. Yeah, it's really just the just the back heavy punch landing on a throw yep. attack. So it's really kill, kill, killing him here. Yeah. So I think if he just backs it up a little bit, it'll be all right. He was solid on defense there for that first game, as you and as you alluded to, it kind of paid off. Spaced out, crouch and kick there. Oh, grabs my oh, again. Now you are in the corner. Let's see. Let's see if he goes for it again. Let's see if he goes for it again. Get nice there. Perry. Gonna throw him back into the corner. Now Kami can get her offense started, but kind of letting them go. Maybe trying to see if he was gonna do some little hasty on defense. Oh, I'm sorry, he's level three. All wow, right. yeah, I can't. baby. Oh, oh no. Just the eye in the middle of the combo. Probably gonna, he's not gonna catch out. Try to go for cross up oh. there. Actually, did get it. Did get cross up. Oh, well, now he pays. Spending level three. I, I thought he was gonna hold on to it, but I guess yeah. he's gonna spend it now. Oh, yeah, but we are in Memphis. We are in Memphis. So. I hate that damn joke, man. <laughs> I hate that damn joke so much. It ruined the character for me. Because every time I lay my three like every every game, so I had to hear it every it's single like the time. Wrong guy to Memphis. You're just like, oh. I'm like, oh, come on, man. I'm trying to enjoy myself. <laughs> <laughs> I play the character I'm already born with, and that's the one thing I like. Y'all take it away from me. <laughs> All right, get to throw that time. Are we going to see it back up? You know, punch, you get a mash there. Yeah, you got clipped again by back heavy punch there. Yeah, playing a dangerous game with that. Again, it was paying off more when he was just able to just sit there and take the throw. But I don't know. Might be getting a little bit antsy here with the buttons, but actually going to work out here as he gets the crouching punch into the combo. I'm surprised he didn't want to, he didn't want to spend that. Like, that was kind of, oh, team, yeah, that, I think, team. Okay, see, now he's getting get it. He can get the burnout. Well, he's burned out now. That actually might kill. It is. It's critical, Ari. Right? Yeah. He's definitely dead. And execute. Yeah. All right. This I don't. Is this the third time we've seen somebody come back down 2-0? Yeah, this is like, this game is about adjustments. Mm -hmm. The tools of this game are built around you adjusting to the other player's uh, conscious decisions. Because there's not really much you can, in this game you're supposed to automatically do. Right. Because there's just, the defense in this game punishes you so much for trying to autom just to follow the same pattern over and over again. Harry strong, DI is strong, anti-airs are strong, drive rush is strong. So like all these options are just stop you from just doing the same thing on repeat. So if you're not able to adjust, the better player will come out on top. Unless that kind of yeah. shit keeps happening. I was going to say, yeah, speaking of adjustment, so crazy that back, that that back heavy getting play. hit, I, I just don't understand. It's so far away. Like, I used that move, and it was impossible to get my friends to, like, bite on it unless I walked forward. If I didn't walk forward, if I just did it, like, like just out of nowhere, 
Yeah, I think they would not whip Pearl. Like, it would be impossible. Yeah, it's I think if Yugo goes back and watches the film, that's got to be the one takeaway. It's just like, man, I think I was just being a little bit too impatient on defense. Just yeah, too much looking. throw. Mm. Or DP, man. DP. <laughs> I'm going to get the... Okay, there we go. We're spending it. Yeah, it's going to spend it. It may burn him out, hopefully. No, oh, no. Oh, oh again, oh, yeah, the, the, the last little out. bit did. Oh, oh my God. no. He's going to live, though. He's going to live. It's still not fun. It is still very much not fun. Now you got to play the sandblast game. Well, if he's gonna, if he doesn't want to throw it out, he didn't want to throw it out. The, he yeah, got, he didn't got the reactions. I did though. No, I was if I if I was a Luke, I'd have like, I'd have DP the show. Yeah, deal with it. <laughs> deal with it. Deal with it. Hold that neutral, baby. See, now we get the throw here. So let's see if he. Re yeah, there we go. There we go. See, these see, are the correct decisions. He's adjusting. He's adjusting late, but it's definitely paying off. Like you can clearly see. The adjustments. Yeah, because better late than never, honestly. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm glad he adjusted to this, because honestly, it would have been painful to see someone like. Oh, oh my no. God. <laughs> oh. oh! That could be the clincher. It just goes straight into level two. I'm just going to keep it real nice and simple with the BNB, and that's going to be a three, a reverse 3 0 on the part of Yugo. Again. That boy Yugo. <laughs> playing a very, playing a very dangerous <laughs> game. <laughs> He's gonna he's, he's gonna look on he's gonna pull up the stream right yeah. now, walk back like 26 and be like, damn, <sighs> damn, yeah, damn. Yeah. He's definitely gonna have a whole montage of him eating back heavy punch. Yeah. I mean, I think he did he was finding answers to it. He wasn't getting hit by the same thing over and over again. Well, I mean he was, but like it was less frequent. He was finding more answers, but he wasn't keeping it top of mind. And it almost cost him, but he won just enough interaction to keep him in the set. Truly, I'm not even baffled that that heavy punch worked. I'm just baffled that it worked at ranges where there was no threat of him throwing and baiting a th and it baited a throw that was never gonna happen. That's the part that was baffling. I mean, look, if, if um, to the dumbest defense, if I have an option and I see, like, even if I know it's wrong and it's working out in my favor because the other person's just not adapting to it, like you said, it's a game of adaptation. If they're just not picking up on it, I'm going to keep going with it. I'm not blaming the Dumbo yeah. for landing that back heavy a billion times. I'm blaming you, go for, for getting hit for by it a billion times. <laughs> uh, but, hey, hopefully, hopefully they will you know, in like in World Tour, where you go against a bunch of people who do like the same thing over and over again, and you're just like, okay, this is something that I should think about when I'm playing. Yeah, we're well, the, we're taking the, it to the streets. The I Luke think that's what at. that was. Yeah, I think that's what that was. Where the loot pot at when you need them? <laughs> All right, more cami action, baby. Let's go. All righty. So I think we're seeing cami versus Zangief up here. Definitely not a not a matchup that I would want as Zangief. Uh, I mean, I think there's a lot of matchups that Zangief wouldn't want in this game. But Why wouldn't you want a matchup versus Cammy? You know, true. I mean, fair, balanced character. You know, I feel like if I just play, if I just play perfectly, she's not that bad. <laughs> oh, we're gonna get a little bit of a, a little bit of a trade here to start the game. So on the part of Kraken here, what do you think? Because I. Clearly, we think that this matchup is in Cammy's favor because she's just, I mean, she's a cover-all character. But in your opinion, what do you think Kraken can do to sort of make up the difference to sort of swing this game in his favor? This is a game, This is a character matchup that I personally feel like Cammy does not struggle in, but I feel like every Cammy player I've ever talked to thinks it's terrible. So I don't want to say something and then, like, Cammy player's like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I mean, it's easy to say that, but I mean... True enough. Yeah, it's just well, like, well, like on line, paper, on paper. Let me know if you can stare him in the eyes. Like, like, <laughs> they're gonna say some shit like that. That's very, uh, you know, I, I, I get it. I mean, that's your character, so I'm not. I, I don't play this. I don't play this character. I play a little bit of Zangief, but like I don't play Cammy enough. Like I know what she does. I know I watch enough, but I'm like I'm not gonna be able to sit here and just be like, okay, against this situation, you gotta do A, B, C. Well, but, on, on paper, Cammy outspeeds Geef. He has she has better conversions than Geef. She has a dive kick to bait from Andros. Yep. She just has everything she needs. She's not really scared of Larity either. Yeah. It's really I'm, just a matter of playing patiently. Waiting for your opening and then snowballing. He cannot defend himself either. No, and the worst part is too that as well as we pop a um, as we pop a punish counter, a punish counter on the eye on the level three. With Zangief, a lot of the stuff is committal. Cami is probably the polar opposite on that spectrum, where a lot of the things you can just throw out to stop Geef's approach, just being like, okay, I'm gonna buffer this button, I'm gonna buffer this, and it's just a very uphill battle for Geef to even just get in. So I feel like if Kraken can just find. 
a little the little mistakes as they come through and get some punish counters in there. He can set this move. He can, he can get his chance. I will give K players this at least. It is very scary to get command post like you. And he can, in fact, put you in very uncomfortable scenarios. Oh, but we're sitting pretty we're sitting pretty with the response to the DI. I think uh, we've seen a lot of DI trades so far early, so I think um, both players are just kind of testing each other's reactions, yeah. being like, what can I get away with against them? We're kind of at the point of the, of the game's life now where people have actually gotten very, very, very comfortable by reacting to the DI. And if you want to DI someone, you have to put the mental stack high. Absolutely, yeah. And I think that's another thing with um, with Cami that you know makes her in particular so good with her DI. It's just her stack is absurd. Like there's so many different things that you have to look out for. Characters like DJ, Ken, Jury, JB, even when they rare. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's the I, lost, that, that's, I lost my train of thought. That's what Cammy's being complaining about. Like, uh, oh, but he just does so much damage. Like, I'm, I'm not comfortable around this character. That's fair, too. And I guess you can't really take to the sky without Threat of Air SDP. So. Yeah, it's not easy, though. Like, Yeah, I mean, you got to really be on it. But, I mean, if you're a good enough gear player, like, you can get it pretty consistently. Unfortunately, this is kind of crack as weakness as a player. He doesn't really have... Like, I know he's going to watch this later, but Kraken needs to work on his uh, confirms. He doesn't really have extended confirms as a deep player. What Kraken has as a deep player is the mind games, and he has, like, the nature of, like, he can understand what he's supposed to do to win. But when he needs to clinch and, like, do a jab, drive rush, jab, and he can Larry to win, he doesn't really have those. That might just be a lack of practice. But luckily, Greg has been playing fighting games for a long time now. So he knows how to do shit yeah, like this. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> he knows this is the thing he can do, right? Just being in the mind of the other player, just being like, okay, we're gonna, we're just going to go in there guns blazing. And now I have the health lead, so we'll see you. That, you, you'd be surprised if you play character like Eve how far that can get you, is like just knowing the opponent. It's just, all it takes is that one, it's just my lo one my loyal fans and then you're back yep. in it. But it's like moments like this where if he was more comfortable doing that jab confirm, mm -hmm. then he could clinch a win easy off of like that portion of hell. But since, yeah. he, but since he's not very comfortable doing that, then he can never quite finish an opponent off that's aware that he's gonna go for a command throw. And also getting those confirms would go a long way in keeping that steamroll going, just keeping in Cammy's face. Yeah. So you don't have to play that game all over again with every interaction. Yeah, because Snake Eyes, I watched him play that one time. He just never did the command throw unless it was to like finish or put the fear in somebody because he would rather take the Oki every time off of, of like a com uh, Larry confirm. Absolutely, yeah. I think with any grappler, it's like the things that you want, you want. You want to be able to be plus on a normal so you can just keep them in place, and you want to be able to have something that gives you Oki to set it up the command grab opportunities. But a good command grab opportunity comes when you respond to a drive impact like that. So now Joel's playing on the back foot, and that's, so that's crazy. what you get. This is what I'm talking about. Like, Kraken is dangerous. If he had combos, he'd be pretty good. Yeah, because even in KOF, too, what's crazy is that he also play, he plays Clark. And so he's very aware of, like you were mentioning, just being able to keep people in the vortex by knowing the tendencies of another player. So if he can just, like you said, if he can just nail down consistency with the combos and just stay in Joel's face, he has he has potential here. Yeah, but that's just, it takes time, you know? Yeah. He hasn't really quite uh, taken that stuff yet to uh, become a, a more adept player, I guess I would say. But he, like, but he knows that he's got the psychology. And to me, that's way harder oh, than, absolutely. than getting a combo now. Because I feel like that makes up a difference for a lot of people is that if you have that mentality and you're able to respond, like you, you drop like two or three games as we've seen. Air SPD, very nice yeah. there. If you, drop two or, if you drop two games and you're just like, okay, like I, I have the mental wherewithal to know this is what I should be doing rather than just doing the same thing over and over again and but still having the combos. I think that takes you a little bit further. Yeah, for sure. All right, we're feeling each other out. Damn, I'm gonna get clipped by that. Like I said, it takes a long time to develop the psychology of a fighting game player to be like higher level, but like combos are usually the first thing people do. Yep. He just did it another way around. He learned the hard part first and the perceived difficult part, which is combos. The easier thing to do. He hasn't done that yet. And honestly, that makes for a real that makes for a real demon in bracket. Like if you're early in pools and you're just like, all right, I got like it's 9 a.m. I gotta go against a Zangief that can play the mind game perfectly. Yeah, and all this guy air command threw me like. Oh, see, there we go. There we, this is there CA. we go. This is CA too. This is gonna hurt. 
mercy. No remorse. We are getting a lot of I think there's still the victory. It might still be the victory. But they're gonna I think they're gonna let it play. They're gonna let it play. I think I'm just, like, you know, I'm up two games. I, I hate that they keep pressing start because they think it's a cutscene like in a like on the, like Baldur's Gate or some shit. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, that baby. boy cracking. <laughs> he don't got he don't got a so combo through his name, but he just got his movies. <laughs> Look, any any combo that Geef has that's not the dropkick combo pales in damage to just having the yeah, raw SPD. So. Yeah. So as long as you got them 360s, you got them spin cycles, you churning butter, we're cooking bread, baby. Speaking of command grabs, I thought Hooligan grabbed the keep keep in the corner. Ooh, gonna oh. block oh, the no driver. Oh, no punish. Person. Very strange. I, I definitely know Joel knows it's punishable. I guess he just wasn't he hit the wrong option there. Yeah, yeah. Maybe just a little late on the button, too. Yeah, potentially, yeah. But it's still gonna be able to take that first round as Kraken was just trapped in the corner. Now we're gonna get back here. Nice dive kick over the low button from Zangief. Gonna get the Hooligan grab again. Set up a little bit of a deja vu from the last round. And Joel just straight up running the Cami White steamroller. Yeah, this is the part where I say Cami beats uh, Geek because he's got no defensive options. And he, I, do, he could do stuff like this where you just medium, stand medium punch and even his only one doesn't work. Okay, so that's 3-1 so that's, that's in Joel's favor. I just, can I just say one thing real quick? Why is Geek level two that bad? It has to be. But I saw Joel throw out just one of her more committal buttons. It's not great. It's Cammy, so nothing's really committal. See, but I saw her like here. Y do you understand why it's that bad? Why? Okay, this is mode in the game called modern mode, and with that existing, that means if he had that super and he's modern mode geef, he just presses a button, and he would. But you still get that with level three. But the difference is level three does not vacuum in someone from halfway across the screen. That's true. Yeah. I <laughs> That's it's the just, reason, because otherwise, if you played a fireball character and he had two bars and he's playing modern mode, literally the moment you're like this, it's too late. The shit's yeah, already coming out. That's and fair. You're that's gonna fair. get sucked in. So yeah. that's the trade-off. It's just I am so used to literally every other game. If I see Super Flash and my character is like this, I'm like, oh, I messed up. But it's just, it's just, it's just weird to me. But it, I understand. It, I understand. It's only because of modern mode. If it didn't exist, then it probably wouldn't be that slow. Yeah, because well, Candy's level three is that fast. But the difference is that since his is two bars, he could potentially get three per game. Yeah. And if he could do that on command instantly and catch buttons and supers and shit and like and, and fireballs like on reaction, then it'd be so cheap because that would mean he could bring you in, knock you in the air, do a do a combo, and then now you have to guess on a command throw that may kill you. Like all the time, like it, it would you also, be a vortex. You also get that plethora of options with the level two. You could side switch if you want to. Like if you're most time, like he, he did, he popped it in the corner. So if you got jackhammer, boom, yeah, you yeah, put them in the corner, in the yep. corner. So it, it, there's a lot of advantage to having that level two pop and uh, correct. So I guess I, I see where you're coming from. Yeah, that, that's not supposed to be a wake up super angle. That's that's yeah. specifically a neutral game super. God. So it, the fact that they use it on wake up is only because they have no other option. And they're just like, whatever, man, I gotta go for it. All right, we're getting some jury action here. Arsenal back on deck. I'm surprised you haven't got to, had to go play your... Uh... I'm shocked, too. I haven't I haven't heard a call. I haven't heard a call. But I'm, I'm, I'm ready. I got my... I'm, I'm over here just uh, mentally doing Tiger Knee Jones on send. What? Just getting ready to just be like uh, RPS to death, baby. My favorite thing to do when I was playing... Uh playing Guilty Gear was when I killed the Yozansen. It's like, Yozansen! <laughs> <laughs> I love when they have the extra little, like, the extra little uh, round end uh, lines. It's the Yozansen. I think Johnny has one, too, with the Mist Fighter. So, anyway. Oh! Good confirm. Yeah, this is, this is probably one of my favorite matchups to watch in the game. It's just two characters that have pretty identical sort of game plans of just having to rush you to, rushing you down, but with really, really good buttons and tools to do so. I so, hate fine both characters. I understand. I, I can play both of them, but damn, I hate the other side of this shit. Only because Cammy specifically can just run away forever. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> it's just... Well, Jury too, because she Jury can just, too, yeah. just back, like I get the health lead, back dash, back dash, back dash, fireball. Fireball, go back in. <laughs> so annoying. Yeah, but if you have the if you have the presence of mind like Hugo has in the mobility of Cammy, you can take games like that 
and just keep the, and just keep the train rolling. But we're gonna get a little bit of a sweep here, punish counter. We're not gonna get a lot of a setup off of it, but we do have two stocks that we're sitting on. So three. Oof. See, that's what was, that's what, another really cool thing with Jerry is that even in the middle of that string, he threw out that little jab, and it was just still low committal enough to where. You know, it whiffed, but he could go back. To, he could go back to defense and just not have to worry about hitting, eating a punish counter. That, that was a crazy ass drive back, but it worked out. Yeah, we got Renko kicks into the FSC. Nice oh, nice empty. This is all but one, because unless he does a really good CA, he's dead. I think he probably could have gotten the punish there on the light spiral error. I don't think that was spaced enough to where Jerry couldn't have punished that, but. Maybe just wanted to play it a little safe there. Yeah, he didn't want to block the spire arrow and beat the <laughs> CA on block. That was True enough, yeah, that yeah, would yeah. That upset me greatly. Yeah, I, I think that would have just been the set for me. I would have just packed it up in like, all right, you got me. All right. You go playing a, li playing a little patiently, just throwing out buttons and marching up, a marching up inch by inch with each of them. So enough to put him in the corner. Oh, Not man. able to respond with the DI, though. He had hard committed to the crouch fears. Unfortunately, he ate that. He's still sitting on that level three. He sure is, but Arsenal being liberal to spend his own bar with the FSC, but now here comes the mix. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, didn't want to go for the throw again, and I think Hugo knew that that was not going to be in the cards. Oh. FSC, baby. Overhead. Oh, that was so crazy. Oh, he my gosh, there. yeah. That was two opportunities to study. He could have lost right there, but he got his ass. Yep. Sometimes you're in the middle of the jury jail. You're not really sure when exactly you're, the, the key's allowed to go through the hole. So you got the file for the bar, but you don't necessarily know when the guards are going to be on duty. Right, but we are marching them down with these little lights, these little medium punches. And now we're going to go into the hora hora. Is she supposed I, OK, so I know this might be just very English, but it wasn't she supposed, is she not supposed to say hora hora instead of hora hora? I don't know why she says the age. She's yeah. Like, oh, order. Yeah. But I can't tell if it's order, but you just hear the the sound of yeah, her kicking. That. It's like uh, you play Street Fighter Four. I played a little bit. Yeah, I didn't so, play Jury though. So uh, so uh, Goken, Goken when he charges his uh, his Hadouken, mm -hmm. he goes and then he goes Hadouken. So like it's like common for like everyone to go Skadoken. Because <laughs> it's the first part of the Hadoken. It's like Skadoken. But he's just saying Hadoken, it's just that it's hidden by the first part of the, the sound effect. That's great. Thing. I love that. It's I like, love that. That's like, great. Hadoken, but it's just Skadoken. <laughs> uh, uh, all right, another Feng Shui pop. Arsenal's gotten a lot of mileage out of this throughout the entire bracket run. Yeah, not, but, not that time though. He's yeah. got those in the corner. He said none of, he said none oh, of. now he's back out the corner. Oh, now you're back in. Oh, wow. oh, now you're now back, you're in. back yeah, in the Yeah, baby. This is what good ass characters look like. <laughs> <laughs> the privilege on display no, is just <laughs> insurmountable. No, you're in the corner. No, no you're, you're in, in the, the corner. corner. <laughs> <laughs> you get off the phone. Bro. You get off the phone. Yeah, good ass characters get to put you in the corner for any reason. It's yeah. very funny, too, because like you'll see this matchup, and then, you know, one of the two players they'll lose, and they'll just go to Twitter just being like, I can't believe like Cammy's just so broken. She gets to do this. And I'm like, brother. Brother, you, you are playing the Jerry exact Han. same thing. You are playing <laughs> Jerry Hahn, my good man. Very funny how that works out. Uh -huh. Nice little low there, caught him, caught him guessing. It's very interesting seeing how both of them are not very inclined to sort of go for the same sort of shenanigans with this walk back into, or throw bait into heavy punch. Uh, we saw both of them pop that a lot in their previous matches, but both of them really just been content throwing out, you know, low committal, light punch, light kick, medium punch, medium kick. Are yep. we just gonna gloss over the fact that they both burnt themselves out in like 20 seconds? Uh, yeah, I didn't, I, I didn't want to say because I was just like, I, I just wanted to let them cook, but you know, I just kind of wanted to let them cook. I'm like, I'm not gonna let that shit go. They both burnt themselves out like instantly. Uh uh, level one here. I, yeah, Jury or Arsenal's just been very liberal with the bars finish. Meanwhile, Hugo has just been waiting for his chance to pop that level three I or critical art. I, I'm pretty sure this man is waiting for uh, Arsenal to throw one to Horizon. And Probably. Yeah. Or get the or hit like this, maybe. Yeah. He burned himself out now, so he's got to he's got to finish this. 
Luckily, like I said, only one of them has a block screen infinite, and the other guy does not have bar. Yep. Oh, wait, no, he's not for right? Yeah, I forgot he must have Anyway, he's yeah, dead yeah, anyway. Yeah, so he's dead. <laughs> he's gone, though. All right, All right, we're tied up 1-1 one, one here. Responds to the hooligan with just popping the DP. I feel like in a lot of matchups, if you're able to just anti-air that hooligan, if they're not gonna if they're not gonna faint it and you're just able to DP or anti-air that hooligan, take you a long way in sort of setting the pace for the rest of the set. Yeah. Ooh, DP. In the air though, let's see if we can get anything off of it. Nah, yeah. Candy spike, keep him in the corner. That's gonna be a good conversion. Yeah, there we go. Quick, quick round one for Hugo there. Makes me wonder if this is gonna be the same as last time when Hugo adapted and the uh, it was very convincing afterwards. Yeah, maybe because well, we saw. Go ahead. Well, I'll say Arsenal also has a chance to adapt. We're not too deep in the set where like you can make a change. Yeah, but we also the problem is, um, and this is this is not a testament to like this is not saying like Arsenal's doing anything wrong. The reason like when he's in losers because he got you know we saw DJ adapt. We all DJ adapt to him yeah. after he went up 2-0. So you got to wonder if he's just going to keep up that same linear game plan going in here and Yugo's again able to adapt, or if he's going to take what he learned from that last set, being like, OK, I can't get too predictable as the set goes on. So This man's sitting on three bars again. Yep. Meanwhile, again, Arsenal just being content to just go for it and get the tick throw there from Jerry. That was so crazy. I mean, he could have a level three super there when he threw that EX fireball. Now up around. <laughs> Wait, no, no, never mind. Yugo was up around, so yeah, you, he could have lost there. Yeah, he could have won the whole thing. Yeah, he could have lost there. Ah, uh, I think he's, he's got to know that that's a punish. Something that's super important against Cam is just knowing when you can take your turn back, because otherwise she's just going to keep her offense going, and it's just one of the more unrelenting offenses in the game, as you're about to see from the conversion off of the crouching kick. Oh! <laughs> that was funny. Not going to lie. Is it over? Hey, yeah, good damage from an instant overhead. That was a pretty good. That trick was really strong in Street Fighter 4. You could do a jump around house and then press jump medium punch with Jury and then do EX kick. And it would catch. And if it didn't catch, it still wasn't that big of a deal. Wow. Ah, uh, there we go. Eliminating target here. That's going to be a game three going to Yugo at 2 1. This is not Baldur's Gate. <laughs> this is not Armor Core. You, or this is not a one-player game. This is you have to watch this cutscene. It's the online. It's the, it's the online. It's just like I want to get. I want to get. I want to go back to training mode. Uh, 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 uh. I said Armor Armor Core, but I don't think Armor Core doesn't even have like cutscenes. I haven't. I haven't played the new Armor Core. All my friends have played, and they're saying it's excellent. So, you know, from software. If you're watching this, I know you are. Uh, Thanks for being in your bag again. <laughs> I played all the old armor cores, but I, I just haven't touched the new one. Gotcha, yeah. I, I think there's not a lot of time investment in it. All right. But, this is uh, really bad for Arsenal. This is about to lose all his gamer points. Yeah. On it. <laughs> <laughs> it's really tough, too, because he burned himself out and then got thrown in the corner. Almost made it out, but Hugo making quick work to put him back in there. Keep him in there with the throw. And, yeah, that's, yeah, that's going to be it. Uh, uh, uh. Pending a drop, he's gonna spend it. Yep. Uh, could he have killed his level one? Nah. Because it scales like crazy when you do the uh, no starter with the uh, gotcha. with the uh, driving pack. This is stun. Gotcha. There's a chance it may have been just short, or he could have did it. I don't know. It, oh, it, no. possibly, it might have been short though. Oh, uh, because like, like I saw, I saw the health, and I was like, level two seems a bit expensive. But you know what? You want to pay the premium when you can get rid of a character. Yeah, I've definitely seen some greedy plays today where that was not the best thing to do, and that fired. Yeah. I've definitely seen some greedy plays where it worked out for some reason. Yep. So, you know, he took the character, took the round, and we're back here too. Wow. Oh my gosh! The repeat hooligan. Oh, block this. I'm gonna block this whack ass mix up. Hugo, I think his strength so far in this tournament I've seen is his ability to adapt to his ball. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I definitely seen him get his ass whooped. Yeah. <laughs> and then, like, after two games, he turns it around. Yeah, he got the Zenkai boost. He got the Zenkai boost. He said, you know, you, would, you alluded to the fact of adaptation playing, playing a key role in the set, too. And I think uh, Arsenal not necessarily able to keep up with that level of adaptation as that's going to send him out of the bracket. But a still a strong showing, top eight with Jury, who some Jury players will say is not a top 10 character, cap. But strong and still strong, uh, strong bracket run in his own right. So, you know, 
Can't be too mad about that. You go. Yep, yep. You go did his thing. And I think he's actually going to be up again right now. We're in Luther's finals, correct? Mm -hmm. All righty. Wow. Moving through this bracket. And we have a cami mirror. Ah, yes. Not only is it a cami mirror, but it's a pad cami mirror. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think we saw this last one this too, didn't we? I think we saw this last plus two. They played, it might have been way earlier in the bracket of losers, but. Hey, uh, Marco. Uh, the chat says the game still says KO. But... So yeah, I think we saw, I, we might have still seen it earlier in plus two uh, last month, but yeah, double, double pad cami. You're gonna definitely see a lot of shenanigans, a lot of uh, hooligan nonsense, if you will. So, I'm sorry. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Yeah, chat. Don't let your eyes deceive you. We are in the middle of a uh, Street Fighter Six bracket. We this are is not King of, of Fighters. No, problem. that's over. Yeah, as you can tell, because we have a lot more entrance. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to go there with the game. Oh, I love KOF. God. It's one of my favorite. It's my favorite game right now. But I'm. Look, if, if we, if you throw out a, if SNK wants to throw out a milli for a tournament, then maybe we get some more players. I don't know. Man, I remember when Just SNK saying. did a tour for Sand Life Shuttle and they, 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 they fucked it up. <laughs> I'll never forget that. Man, I, like, I'm still new, to, I'm, I'm still relatively new to, like, the competitive SNK scene, but, like, anytime SNK does anything, I just always hear from somebody just going, oh, classic SNK, and I'm like, is this, is this really what they're known for? So, I don't know. But, we're gonna get, we're gonna get off of the KOF track here. We're in the middle of Capcom game here. In fact, we are in the middle of a Cami Ditto, as Painbot said, a pad Cami Ditto, so... That is so cheap. Why can't you My do that? gosh, can I pop the level one? Oh, but you are you blocking? Okay. Huh? Okay. I'll hype it up. <laughs> Alrighty. So Joel gonna take that first round. There was a little bit of a clean showing after backing Hugo into the corner. Oh, see, we were we we didn't see a lot of this last game from Joel or Hugo, but getting the backup throw bait into heavy punch. I mean, it's hard to back up when the other guy's holding forward the entire time. True enough, true That's enough. That's what I want. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, gonna get the parry on the move again. Maybe see Yugo adapt to it as he did last set. We started doing the hooligan grab rather than just hooligan overhead. Like confirm. Grab. Now you have to play the guessing game. Yugo has a pretty good lead. Drive, drive bar aside. I think he may have yeah, actually screwed himself so long as uh, Ooh, doesn't. yeah, oh. but now they're both in burnout. Yeah, they're, they're both, both burnout burn now. now, so. But still, still, this is a tough scene. This is a tough scene, so we'll see. This is a very greedy play from Joel, because he's burnt out. Because yeah. one chip wins. Ooh, text the throw there to stay alive. We're gonna see who's gonna pop the spiral arrow? Who's gonna pop the hooligan? If, if I we'll were Hugo, I just jump through. Jump dive kick. <laughs> it's, it's, it's on chip. It's on chip. Well, now I won't split now, but. Right. Drive, drive, ba drive gauge back to both players. Ex. Wow. I'm gonna spend, gonna spend drive gauge immediately to try to get some advantage here. Oh my God. God. I just stood up. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, look, unrelent, the unrelenting barrage of the low kicks there is gonna take that for Joel. Ooh, gonna get the heavy punch combo into the drive rush. Ooh, gonna get the bait on the throw again. Gonna attack. Oh, with bro. I think he was trying to get him back into the corner, try to get his own offense. But we are back, we are mid-screen. Joel able to press his advantage now. Right, we're back in neutral. That looks so insane every time I see it. Ooh, going for a little bit of an overhead mix there. Get Barry. Ooh, Ooh, great parry. Hugo staying alive. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh. I'm surprised he didn't take the throw back to the corner. But yeah. Really know, just made the wrong decision. I think he also tried to go for a tick throw there, but just didn't get the march forward that he wanted and just ended up paying the price for it. Yeah. Oh, another throw bait, boy. I, you know, it is a cami ditto, but for some reason, I'm just shocked every single time I see the backup heavy punch into drive rush. So, it's a staple of this character. Fire arrow, safe enough to keep the parries it. Not gonna be able to get a punish off of it though, so Joel marching Yugo into the corner. Gonna make him play the guessing game with Hooligan, but gonna mash out. 
Um, no, he's, that was a good confirm. I think he, he potentially may be dead. Just I was gonna very, say, yeah, I know. Very like, little scaling. Very little scaling. Yep. Yeah. Oh, sheesh. Because <laughs> all he did was jab heavy super, like jab jab heavy back spin knuckle. So, oh, yeah. I was, like I wasn't questioning whether that was a good confirm because obviously it was. It was gonna be mad advantageous regardless if he killed or not. But I was sitting here like, does this kill? Uh, but yeah, Cami White. My bad. <laughs> Ooh, big, try to bait out the parry. Oh. Hugo's the one that's up to. Oh, my bad. Oh, okay, sorry. Yeah, my I bad, haven't my call, I have been calling this backward because of uh, Hugo's play. That's my bad. Uh, but now it is Hugo up two games. But yeah, Hugo is the one that's been just putting on a clip. Oh, yeah, costumes, costumes will be fantastic. Costumes will be fantastic. If all the setups will have them. Like, yeah, Marco ain't gonna cheap out like the other TOs. Yeah, I was gonna say, yeah. <laughs> That'll be great. Like, see, so you got the color for this one, so there you go. But yeah, I'm gonna go to DreamHack and try to play SF6, and I'm gonna be like, man, where's where's my color seven? Is Where are my 700 drive tickets? Oh, well, good for you. <laughs> good for you. <laughs> He's on match point. <laughs> Uh, 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 keeping up, keeping up the offense here. We are just fainting hooligans around here. Oh, nice little spiral arrow to catch him. Gonna throw him back in the corner. Yugo just been on point with the parry so far this set. An opening, bang, gonna get the drive, get the drive impact and throw. Hooligan adaptation there, goes for the grab as he saw him parry a lot before. So, uh, Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, wow. what the hell? All right. Okay. Oh, oh, ooh, ooh, that could have been, that could have been match. That's that gonna be match. match. Yeah, you're burnt out. Yeah, gonna pop it. Strong 3-0 from Hugo. Strong 3-0. As he demonstrates that he is the, he, he, he he's, he, the, he's, he's the cami. I, I, he's, <laughs> he's the, the cami. cami. Look at me. I am the captain now. I am the cami now. My goodness gracious, but yeah, Cammy Dittos, man, about, went about as what, you, as what you'd expect. So. Oh, and we're going to be playing a uh, trailer soon.
And we're back. So that was the uh, Max Mode trailer. And uh, most of that footage was uh, from local events. There was a lot from other events, but they've been doing this for a long time. And we're finally having a bigger event. It's like the next step up for data. Very excited. Lots of games I'm excited to watch. Um, if you guys are interested, definitely check out the uh, Data FGC Twitter. Uh, they will have an event posted for you to uh, sign up. They'll have all the details explained, the date, everything. It'll be in Norcross. Stay tuned for it. Yeah, I know for a fact. I am so excited for that. There's just so many different games that I would probably sign up for, if not commentate. So we'll, uh, we'll see. I think it's, uh, uh, it's going to be a great time. So definitely stay tuned. Keep your eyes peeled and uh, stay ready for it. And games are hard. There's too many of those games that are way too difficult to stay competitive in. Yeah. yeah. There's going to be some pretty good competition. I think I would imagine that there's going to be some pretty good competition. I think a, oh, like, yeah, a lot sure. of good people are going to. Like I saw Silent uh, in one of the KOF clips. I'm like, oh man. Like, are you coming out for these? Shoot. But yeah, I'm super excited. It's going to be a good time. But um, yeah, one of the games, of course, is going to be Street Fighter VI. So. Uh, we'll see if any of these guys are gonna show up to max mode and just run through it over there So they've got time to, they've got they've got some months before March 2024 So yeah, they know. can they can uh, plan a little couple things out, you know mm -hmm. Take some of the footage from Take look at the VOD from these plus two unblocks every month by the way, so uh, all, right, all right, so yeah, you know you're gonna look at the VOD for plus two on block, just being like, okay, before March, I gotta work on A, B, and C. How did I, what, what, how did I keep getting hit by Luke Heavy Punch? All right, yeah, there we go. I'm mainly excited for Samurai Showdown, but y'all know that already. We play Sam Show again, and I'll have Street Fighter. It won't be like before where I was like sad because Street Fighter Five was out. So now I'll have Spa, I'll have Six, and I'll have Sam. So I'm gonna hype. And how about the you do uni? We're hey, that looks cool too. Uni? My gosh, I'm. I never stopped. thought they were ever gonna get another. I thought that was it. Like the last one, I thought that was the end of it. Yeah, dude, I'm. I'm. Look, I've been on so much co or so much copium or not copium, but whatever, whatever the opposite of that. Hypium. Is. Hypium. Exactly. <laughs> <Yeah>. Hypium. <laughs> but like, I, I was just so dead. I'm just like, man, uni is over. Blaze blue is over. Strive is just gonna be what's carrying Arctis forever. Is like it's over. Like we were even lucky to get Grand Blue, but then they come back with uni, and I'm like. What? And rollback on Uni. But now you can play online. Yeah. My experience playing Uni before, I quit because the only guy I could play online was like some car mine from Brazil. And let me tell you, it was not good. So Man, I, <laughs> you you're telling me in the, uh, a Discord Brazil Uni player was not a fun experience for you to fight all the time? Oh, let me tell you, that was not a Discord Brazil Uni player. That was a guy that got on at the same time as me, coincidentally, to play the one other guy in America. <laughs> There was like never lobbies in uni, like unless you went to like the Discord and like coordinated with somebody. But like if you were just to like blindly go on uni PC version and just like, hey, let me see who's on. I literally got stuck with that car mine like every time I tried. I was like, whatever, I'm done. Gotcha. Well, I hope the player base is going to be big for uni, uh, or at least bigger, because uh, I know it's been a very popular niche game for a while now. So hopefully, with the success that Arxis has gotten for other titles, more people can get into uni. Because I, I am a big fan of the title myself. I'm not the biggest. I'm not the most deep in it, but I, I enjoy watching as a spectator a lot. Well, generally speaking, having playable online usually helps expand your player base. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, it should get, it should improve. Right now, we're just waiting on one of the uh, players to come back. They went to the user bathroom, and yep. they will be back in a second to do their winner's finals, I believe. I believe so, yeah. Because Wait, wasn't that – was that not loser's finals? Nah. That was loser semis. Yeah. Okay. Because uh, I'm pretty sure I have not seen um, Musa play in a while. Yeah. So he's definitely still in winners. Sure. Okay. But, yeah, folks um, – we are getting deep into the bracket now. We got a lot of real strong players still showing up. We've got, I think, two DJs still left. Uh, I think we're actually going to see the DJ ditto now, as oh, a matter of fact. Never mind. I thought this is a DJ mirror. This is I like think, a nightmare. Yeah, you're getting DJ ditto right here. <laughs> <laughs> Who's getting hit by Sobot first? Who? That's true. You see, that's why y'all entered the tournament, not me. <laughs> I'm over here because I'm safe. I don't have to deal with that nonsense over there. Yeah, you kids have fun over there. You kids <laughs> have fun over there. <laughs> there was a year. There's a gotcha game that Capcom has called Street Fighter Duel. Yeah, and yeah, I, yeah. I play it, and there's like a DJ that was in the Shadowloo. Like, there's like a there's a little like Shadowloo city area where you can compete. 
with the uh, AI to get to the end and you finish it, you get, like, you get rewards. There's a, there was like a boss DJ on the way. It was freaking huge. <laughs> and you know, all the characters from Street Fighter Duel from Street Fighter 4. So I fought the DJ and the DJ is like huge. I'm like, this is the Street Fighter fucking 6 DJ. Because <laughs> he hit me with machine gun upper and he like cleaned my clock. I'm like, oh my God. Yeah. He made his way into Street Fighter Duel. Lore accurate DJ, yeah. lore accurate DJ. <laughs> Yeah, I, I've seen I've seen a lot of people on the TL talk about Street Fighter Duel, and it looks it, it looks interesting. And I also see the YouTube ads. I'm like, yeah, it's pretty good. It's just, but a, it's just a gotcha I'm, game. Yeah, I'm very averse to gotcha because I know for a fact that once I start, I will spend so much money on it. I just want to have Sagat, and Sagat's in the game, so I play that game. Is Makoto in it? Yes. Yeah. I'm All the Street Fighter Four characters. Are in okay. It. Okay. So like for me, it satisfies my desire to have as a guy in the game I'm currently playing. Yeah. Because I can play a guy in Street Fighter Four, but you know the online experience of Four is definitely less than uh, on. Yeah. It got a. It got somebody kicked off commentary because of how bad it was. Yeah. So. It's pretty pretty <laughs> bad. But anyway, we're we're driving with some good net Cody here in Street Fighter Six, and we're also and DJ is also a character driving as we see two of them here in Winners Finals at plus two on block here in October. So let's see how it plays out between Musa and what's goody. You see how you see you know this is how a good balance game looks. Perfectly even match of distribution currently. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, I feel, I feel like that's what a lot of Marvel players say too. So you know, you see, you see zero, you see zero make cry running both, and you're just like, you know what? This is a fair, even matchup for both these players. I love this. Is this truly about who has the better fundies? You see, this is what happens when you start banning DJ. You start getting the locks like DJ. You see them two players over there? Oh, I'm saying you got, you got to embrace the character. Look, is, you get a plus two buff as a player when you start embracing the personality of your character. John grew like three, like four inches when he started making So did Musa. <laughs> <laughs> they both equally became like six foot six. Like the moment they started. See, they got to come DJ. out here with the chains and the headphones on the on the neck too. See, you've got what's goody with the open chest, like the open chest on the jersey. He's just got to like just only have the jersey next time. <laughs> But yeah, I think that's play. I, the buff is still intact though, because he was able to take that first round with a pretty strong showing. So we'll see. Both uh, players whipping these buttons, gonna drive rush in the, from that heavy kick. Not able to get that full confirm though. And obviously, now, go ahead. Obviously, uh, me personally, I'm biased towards uh, Goody. I want him to, I want him to perform well and win this. Because I said I play him every day. Me and him are in the Discord every single day grinding. Man, man. And he plays the good character, so I have to put all my hopes <laughs> into him. <laughs> The better character. <laughs> like, Goody, you gotta that do it with both of us, man, because one of us plays Jamie, so it's gonna be on you. <laughs> to me, that sounds more like a skill issue on your part, sir. Oh, look, I can play Luke again. I don't want to devastate George's landscape by picking Luke. That was too powerful. We, so don't, I, have a I, lot of, we don't have a lot of Luke, so we, somebody needs I, I, to do I, it. I hate them all. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happened. I absorbed all the other Lukes. Right here. Oh my gosh, yeah, Musa keeping up that offense from that second round. It's gonna pop the level three. Don't know if it's gonna be enough to kill. It's not. It's gonna be barely short. But gonna leave him in a really a dire situation with that drive gauge. Yeah, oh. I see that. And I think what's good, he knew that trying to get that DP out, but not really in a threat of uh, DP. So I think that's what he was going for. But you see him in the player cam too, kind of looking up like, oh, why did I do that? Good parry. Ooh, nice. Not able to get the punish off of it, though, but that's okay. We're still uh, that's we're not taking damage. That's not good that drive was Jeff. <laughs> good answer. EX Slash gets the confirm off of it as well. Going to take Musa into the corner with some good damage. Ooh, ooh. Hey, hey, hey. The Uncle Ben, or the uh, Fat Albert, excuse me. I said Uncle Ben. Uncle Ben? <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Ben? <laughs> How would you confuse Uncle Ben with I don't Pat know. Albert? I don't know. I, I, for some reason, that was what popped into my head. I just might be oh, hungry. old Uncle Ben, you know. Hey, hey, hey. I, might just, I might just be hungry. <laughs> I might just Uncle be hungry ben. right now. <laughs> <laughs> Should have had a little Caesar's lunch special like I did. It's tying me over right now. I had McDonald's earlier. I was in that line for like two hours. It was crazy. But like I came. The funny thing is, there was like a there was a KOF match happening, and I left to go to McDonald's. I was in that line. I came back. The same set was still going on. So I was like, okay, yeah, this is this is truly this is truly King of Fighters 15. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we're getting we're getting some quicker games here in SF6. There, as Moose is gonna take that first round with a little bit of the air slasher uh, air slasher off there. Moose and 
Goody are looking fairly even exchanges, but it just seems like Rosa just barely come out on top every now and then. Yeah, I think it also just comes down to um, the different types of interaction that Musa has been winning. It's mainly just been, if once Goody gets a hit, it's like a straight hit, whereas if Musa gets a hit, it's usually like a punish counter from yeah, away from DP. It's a so big, big it's a damage to Meaty dip. hit. So yeah, you're seeing that's kind of the difference as it's playing out that Moose is up 2-0 right now. But we'll see what's good. He's come back down 0-2 before. So we'll see if he can do it again. Yeah, he can, he can make the adjustment. He's definitely he doesn't st he doesn't only play right. So you know he learns what a, a match can be once he passes two games. Exactly. And that was crazy. How, oh my how far goodness that gracious! Just a lot of good characters on display this whole bracket, man. Just seeing these buttons coming out. Right now, Musa Ooh. is definitely looking much more familiar in the mirror match. And uh, Goody did tell me prior that uh, he did need to play more DJs because he wasn't familiar with how the mirror match goes. So this may be the case of what he was telling me before because it seems like that's how it's playing out. Yeah, I mean, like, it's true. Like, you could you can know your character as you would play them, but there's also, like, different play styles that you might not have to be aware of. And, like, you know, you know your weaknesses as a character, but what is the other, like, in the ditto, you find out what other DJs are going to be looking out for. So it's, it's, yeah. it's, it's a different dimension to it. So I can definitely see that playing out here as Musa takes that first round. Back into the corner. We'll see Musa just doing a really good job of keeping up that advantage. And what's good, he just hasn't been, I don't think he's, has he anti-aired really? Well, except for using carry, but has he really successfully anti-aired any of DJ's advances so far? Mm -hmm. oh, see, like there's another one. Uh, yeah, poor see, Goody. He's, go. been, he's been read like a book, unfortunately, during the set. Yeah. Hopefully, he gets another shot and loses bracket. Hopefully, he makes the adjustment. Yeah. But yeah. That all that to say, though, extremely strong showing from Musa there with the 3 0 in winners final to secure a spot in grand final. So we will see who he will face as we work our way through the loser side. Again, what's goody? Has a chance to see him again. So we'll see. We'll see if that plays out. I'm wondering if Musa is just very familiar with the bear. It's possible. It's possible. I've, I've seen it because he pops out at 404 too, and there's like two or three other DJs there that run casual, so me might be playing them at the same time. But I'm overplaying Strive, so I'm not really paying too much attention. So, I mean, it, like you said, he did look just extremely comfortable. Just, again, every hit that he took with a straight hit, and he was just like, that's fine. I'm not going to do anything risky on my end. I'm yeah. going to wait for you to do it. For sure. Yeah, we're going to see him. So we're in Lucas Finals now, so I guess what's good, he's just going to have to sit there and let it marinate as he waits for his opponent. I don't know where he's at or who he's even playing. Who's he playing? Uh, Yugo? Yeah, yep, I think so. Yugo. Okay, so uh, DJ Cammy, did they have played already, correct? No. No, okay. I it, think, was uh, it was a different Cammy. I think uh, Musa fought Yugo, and I think Goody fought Arsenal? Yes. Yeah, that was, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that was the jury. Okay. Yeah. Are you sure your game hasn't started yet? I'm, I'm, I have been looking over like every two or three. Okay, see, now I just think you're trying to get me off the commentary. No, because <laughs> if your tournament started at. It was supposed to start at three. three. It Again, is now I think four. There, I think there's like, they're kind of lax about it because there's only, I think, three or four people in it, I think. So, and Strive goes quickly. So it is, uh, it is what it is. But even still, if like if I don't if I don't play Strive today, I'm I'm cool. You're gonna be kind of, What about you, Yel Zonson? You worked really hard on it. I can just go home and bully people online. <laughs> yeah, but it's different in person. It's true because I can just be like, hey, buddy. <laughs> I'd be getting up and flexing GG, on them. GG's, bud. Yeah, I definitely hand out. <laughs> I've never handed in my hand out to anyone to say GG's. I don't even think I've said GG's in person in my entire life. I did that once just because the other player was pissing me off, and I was like, and I was just like, okay. Cause like he was just making all these grunt noises every time too, and I'm like, dude, you're not doing anything with it, so I don't understand. So I was just like, hey, GG's, bud. Yeah, I don't think so I've ever heard anyone say GG's unless it's unironically supposed to hurt my feelings. GG's <laughs> is about as toxic as what you can say at any given moment. Absolutely. I know what's hurting my feelings right now too is responding to that cam raw cami di on the part of what's goody. Good seeing him, yeah, seeing him a little bit more composed than he was against Musa just to well, start out. Uh, Goody and me, uh, we play. Like I said, we, we play each other all the time, and our other training partner is a Kenny man. Ah, and he's go. pretty good actually. So he's no, it's no walk in the park to beat him. He also is a jury Kami player, so we're both straight on that. Gotcha, gotcha. So yeah, some more familiarity than he had with the Ditto. So. 
Oh, that was, yeah, and he, he knew that he could have gotten the punish there, but, yeah. Oh, I'm yeah, EXDP. I'm crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely EXDP right there on block. Yeah, even still, you can definitely tell that Gus Goody knew that he kind of left that round slip through his fingers, because he had the punish. Well, he's getting that punish now, too. So. This is going to hurt like crazy. Now it's going to put him in the, yeah, yeah. the strike throw. Oh, oh could get him, but still gets a little... I'm getting mixed. I, I know he's dropping the combos, but I'm getting mixed from him dropping. Yeah, I was going to say, it, it, it feels almost more like more mixed when they keep dropping it. Because I'm just like, wait, what's supposed to happen? I'm supposed to be able to get another interaction. I'm supposed to guess next time. Yeah, like, so, I don't know where this is going to end. All right, but yeah, speaking of guessing. Oh, nice good. XDP to get through the drive impact. Going to get another drive rush there. Going to catch him with the air slasher. He's got to be careful with his air slasher. He's got them three bars on deck. Yeah, you see, as he's trying to paint that out. There we there go, painting it out. There we go, and if, with a good confirm there, or just even a button, is gonna do it. My goodness, but yeah, good point. Now Yugo's gonna go into this next round with no bar. So now I think the air slash is gonna be a lot more of a factor in this game. Ooh, on point with the DP so far. On point. Oh my, oh god. my god. Have you ever went low? <laughs> <laughs> that shit is so ambiguous. I get got every time by that thing. No, it's it's a strong option, so I don't I do not blame you. And I think Hugo, when he watches this back, he's gonna be like, ah, what are you gonna do? And I think that's gonna be enough for this game. Nah. Yeah. Yeah. But again, I think what's good, he could actually potentially just play the air slash again if he wants to, because Kami's not going to be able to do anything without it, without those three bars. I'm a nut. I'm thinking about every time I would have DP. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm thinking about. Like, you know what? I'm going to DP there. He's like, I'm not, I, don't, I don't feel like blocking right now. Yeah, I don't really feel like blocking. Yeah. I've got a whole ass argue with my friends about when I should DP or not, because they think I'm crazy and stupid. So I'm just like, I don't DP there. Like, you're just going to have to have the whole game. I was like, yeah, I kind of feel like doing it. <laughs> well, I feel like there's like a certain power to just being like, you know what? Whatever. Because yeah. like, I'm thinking like, there's no way you would DP there. And then I get DP'd and I get guy, and that's the game for me. So, you know what? All power to you. But, <laughs> but what's good, he was actually really good with the anti-air DPs during that first game. So we'll see if we can keep up that success against uh, the air approaches from Yugo. And if Yugo's going to switch to more of a grounded game. He needs to just hold down back. He's, un he's let it go. And unfortunately, it's kind of not. He's kind of making his defense. Since he's not holding down back, it's making his defense much weaker because it's getting it's letting you go through dive kicks where he shouldn't. Yeah. Oh, DP through the air slasher. And still trying to bait something out here. Possibly a hooligan? Ooh. Nice. Yep, nice, nice. Pick up that punch counter. There we go. Strike throw mix up. Gonna go for the throw this time. Yeah, he went for the he went for the shimmy last few times. So. Yeah, yeah. Again, like you said, I think uh, a little earlier, I think it was a uh, what's goody game as well. Got to keep him guessing with that strike throw mix up, so you can open that back up for big damage later on in the set. But speaking of big damage, oh, oh no, I think bro. I might have jinxed him with that. Uh, now the pseudo infinite. Oh, oh why did that we hit I here? Smash out, baby. <laughs> Those were the pastelitos kicking in with that nice little uh, anti-air property on my jab, Mon. Nice confirm on the jab. Oh. Boom. Yeah, we are DJ gaming, ladies and gentlemen. We are gaming. Going to spend it? Okay. There's a big difference in drive gauge, so this allows him to get some back. Okay, he's still sitting on three bars for herself and still a pretty healthy amount of drive gauge. This is so scary. Yeah, any, any. Oh, oh he messed it up. Real scary. The back throw incident is upon us. Nice throw tag. He honestly get his hold down back and keep solid with it. Yeah. I think he just really wants to get out of that corner. He has such a huge life lead. Yeah, I think it, it, it would be to his benefit to play very patiently now because this next hit is going to be disastrous if he lets it and and potential receives. burnout. Yep, there it yeah, is. That's it. He loses. My gosh. <gasps> Jumps out. Is he able to oh jump out? Oh my goodness. DP. Now Cammy's in the corner. Now Cammy has to guess. Tries to go for the oh, throw, but able to match up with the, the low throw. kick. Oh my gosh. It was nip and tuck there going into game at the end of game two, but Hugo able to pull it out to even the series. That was a little crazy. My goodness gracious. I can't believe that. Yeah, I think uh, he went the throw luckily.
and um, that boy Hugo capitalized. Yeah, Hugo. That was a very that was a very tight game. So Hugo had to get up, take a drink, walk around a little bit just to recollect himself as we go into this best of three scenario here in the losers finals. Oof. Again, very on point with the DPS, as is as is Hugo. So. A little bit of a meeting of the minds here. Oos. Nice, nice. Uh, probably thought he was going to go for throw, so he uh, stopped holding up back there. Ooh. So not able to get the punish, though. <laughs> so <far away>. safe. <laughs> <laughs> Such a safe up kick. Oh, uh, okay. Going to get the wall splat. Uh, Did quite kill. But still, no, he's still so low that really anything will do. Yep. Awesome. Could get put in the box. What an answer! Oh my gosh! That was the correct answer. All right, Hugo gonna open it up with a hooligan slide there. Oh, he missed the confirm just barely. Yep. Been able to throw him a little closer to the corner. So, ah, true. That's right. You can just do a uh, cannon strike through that. You know, it's very interesting to note that What's Goody has been trying to get that uh, trying to get that air slasher feint to bait out an option from Cammy, but outside of that one level three earlier in the set, Hugo not necessarily really going for it. So a really good discipline on his part. He only needs that one. That's true. Just the one. <laughs> oh. Uh oh. 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 It's gonna be not. There it is. Yeah. What did I there say? We go. Speak of what the devil did I say? Come. There That's we the go. only one you need. Nice from what's goody to get that faint on the air slasher to bait out the level three. That's two for two in that interaction, and that's going to make him two for over one on Yugo. So we're going into match point for what's goody. So we'll see if he can close it out here. If goody here can uh, clinch this, it'll be a DJ mirror in grand finals. And absolutely. And who wouldn't want to see that, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah, I'm cool with that. It's yeah. a high octane, fast paced match with people dying to it. <laughs> <laughs> see, even a reset would take like five minutes. Ooh, EXDP just says, I'm, I'm chilling here. I don't want to be there. Punish counter throw. Good damage and puts Yugo back in the corner. Gonna spend some drive rush to get some. Oh, a side switch? Nice. Ooh, nice. That was a good stand around house from Yugo to stop right. Goody in his tracks. Next? It was preemptive, but you know, it, got, it worked. Yep. All that matters is that it works. Yeah. It, all that matters. Such a dangerous option, though. If they didn't eat a driving pack, that would have been it. <laughs> yep, yep. I don't remember. Was uh, what's Goody in burnout during that? No, uh, no Yugo yeah. was in burnout. Yugo was in burnout. Was okay, okay, okay. That's why that shit was nuts. <laughs> Ooh. Dang. Pops the DI right there. Good side swap. Yep, not gonna spend it though, just gonna uh, keep a burnt out Kami in the corner. Good anti air. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, I think he got him. a button. Yeah, he got him. I yeah, it. there you go. Um, it's not gonna kill. Not gonna kill, but still not fun. Very close. Very close. Oh, wow. Oh, that works. Taps the foot right there. It says, tie your shoes. See, this, young is man. Where, this is where you, se you send the message back. Like, yeah, I can do it too. I don't level through right back. <laughs> the level of disrespect is tangible between these two characters. <laughs> the time my shoes, I have sandals, man. Oh, nice. DP again on point with the DPs. Yugo hasn't really respected it that much, so I think what's good is just content to keep throwing him out as long as he's gonna keep getting hit by him. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Spiral arrow to get him out of the corner. Keep the pressure up. Get a mash on it. Unbelievably. Oh, it's not plus. That little target combo is not even real. You can jab him out of it. Oh no, because I saw um, Yugo in an earlier set. He actually DP'd after that. Oh. So, so that's, I thought he was going to see that in the back of his head and just being like, okay, I can't do that here. I don't know. Especially he got, since he was cornered. He better prove to me every time that that's he's going to do that's it. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, at the same time, it was a very low risk interaction because you eat a DP, who cares? Yeah, yeah. So. Or if you block it, you win the whole round. <laughs> true enough. There you go. And that's what we saw. Yeah, Yugo chilling right now. Yugo making adjustments in the set. Get it again, another DP. Not respecting, not respecting any of Cammy's options on that Oki. 
Good oh, neutral jump. Nice. But oh, nice. Just, just, a, just a little short on the stand medium. Drive rush, gonna keep that pressure going. Oh, so no. oh couldn't get the convert. Whoa, Whoa. This, oh, oh no, no. he dropped the, the drive rush. rush. Good anti air though. Oh, oh here it is. is it. The, this might be it. <laughs> the boys poop the brakes. <laughs> Every time I oh see them land there, my goodness. every time I see him land, I just think of that boy Hercule. Oh, he's alive? Not for long. I. He gonna walk up and press jab. I. Okay, oh, everybody's okay. gonna be thrown. It was, get, it was getting scary <laughs> there. It was getting scary there. Oh my gosh, it was a potentially gonna be crazy. It was potentially gonna get crazy here. Well, you go is sitting on the full Peter here, so it's his game. It's his round to take. For yep. Sure. Now again, we've seen what's good to go two for two on the air slasher faint to bait that level three out. So we'll see if he can just pop that again to get some big damage to even it out. Good so anti, that was really good. Oh Ooh. my goodness. Not quite fast enough to get the punish on it though. Oh no. Is it? Not gonna pop it? This, nope. This is the game defining exchange coming up. There oh, it is. That's it. Yeah, that's it. He doesn't that should drop be, it. That should be Hugo's win. <gasps> oh, but God Greedy tried to go for a hooligan mix up. You guys just might have dropped this is it. bad. Oh, he's burnt out. Oh, one more guess. Wait, this is an anti -air? I think he jumped over it. No! no! Hugo lands anti air level three and wins it. Wow, an amazing set between the two of them coming down to literally the last hit in a very fringe situation on the anti air on the camp so level three. So close. Wow. But man, Hugo showing again, he's a very strong cami in his own right. But credit to what's goody made that set go the distance literally down to last hit yeah unfortunately Fantastic. just couldn't safe jump the level three super <laughs> unfortunately i mean obviously that was the spur of the moment decision to neutral jump right there and uh i was surprised to see the level three super hit but you know it is fast you know i think it's like seven frames or eight it's frames, mad fast so yeah. it's, that's about as fast as some dps yeah so i mean a lot of people say that's the best level three in the game and it I, is. I would agree it is i would agree it definitely so. is that good and as we saw the second the second best level the, no the best level three in the game is jury's level two <laughs> you were so close it was close it was mad close it was mad close good yeah we were sitting here just like this like i was like did he jump over it or oh, if he didn't jump over it, he's gonna it's not gonna anti-air and then it hit and i was like man yeah. hey, to, okay. to be but though no, for real i think today's your best day you finally look like you weren't nervous i think you broke it during that one game, he finally played like I normally see you play. So this is normally what it, this is how you normally play, which is pretty good. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yep. You also didn't do the max damage uh, juggle in the corner where you let the whole thing rip. You didn't do level three super. You didn't. You cut it off. Good. Yeah. But all things that you can work on, work on going forward. But yeah, honestly, still extremely solid run. Extremely solid. I ain't gonna be me like that. But I mean, you know, <laughs> it's still pretty good. So if that were me over there, I mean, this would be over. I would be out of one four DPS ago. <laughs> oh, all man. right, so we got another Musa. Kimmy Ditto or another no. Kimmy DJ match. Let's go. Yeah. I'm here for it. Musa versus. You go coming back from losers and Musa waiting in winners. Alrighty. So Musa's sitting here pretty, knowing that he can have a set to burn and potentially just get some information if he needs to. But you know, I said this is a game of adjustments. Yeah. The fact that Musa is playing DJ, he knows obviously Hugo knows the matchup, but yep. he doesn't know Musa. Like, Busa and, and Goody are two different players, right? Yep. So what may work on uh, Goody may not work on Musa, but it looks like it's actually working better on Musa <laughs> than it worked on Goody. <laughs> yeah, going for the throw bait. Was Goody not really going for a lot of that in the first set, in that first match, but Yugo able to get it on the first interaction, cashing out and taking that to get the first round. So it's really interesting. Yeah, interesting point too. Like, it's a bit of a shell shot going from two different play styles of the same character, just back to back. So we'll see if Yugo's able to adjust to that. But he gets to wake up DP there. Here comes the, here comes the here comes the DJ special. After life. Able to block that though. Man, I hope Usa wins because I, I actually got to hit the bathroom, and I need I need him to do the DJ stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's looking close. He's got one more hit. Yeah, this is a very oh, close game. 
Oh. First time I've seen wow. him go for that target combo, actually. That was unfortunate. Uh, uh. Oh, gonna get the wall crush from that far away. All right, Hooligan mix up. Go to keep him in the corner. And wake up TP. It don't matter which DJ's doing it, it's effective it's, every it's single good, time. It's a good option. <laughs> Why would you not leverage your incredibly good wake up option? I mean, hey, I don't blame I, I'm, I am in agreement. I concur. Good job. Wow. You almost burned himself out for it, though. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, it's been a lot of drive gauge for that. And that might come back and bottom, but burnt him, excuse me. But, um, I'm going to pop that little Oh, wow. He could have actually juggled off of that because it was airborne. Uh, uh, wow, once again, uh, within the inch of being burnt out. Oh, uh, uh, did he block? Oh, he did. Yeah. Oh, didn't really, uh, didn't, oh, I guess he was burnt out, so he couldn't really cash out the way yeah. he wanted. I mean, he definitely killed his ass with, yeah. <laughs> without par. He could only get his DP, Sam Fierce. Sam Fierce and a uh, par roundhouse DP. Yeah, but that will still play. do the job as he takes game one here in grand finals here. Again, still got to win the, got to win two and then another three to take the whole thing. But a reset will go a long way, of course. Ooh, wow. That was a really deep stand heavy punch. Nice little air splash here to stop the approach. Ooh, just out of range of the HP. Going to cash out here, I think? Oh, tried to go for the strike throw mix-up, but came to get a DP out of there just to get out of that situation. Well, lucky for him, uh, you go try to put the infinite on him, and he had jumped right then. Good awareness on uh, Boost's part. This this damn song on the stage makes me think of World Tour mode, because it's 90% of the song in here. I think of Streets of Rage for some reason. Streets of Rage or uh, Toe Jam and Earl. Toe Jam and Earl. Yeah. Mad random. Some of you kids in chat don't know what that is. But I'm Some of you kids. I'm 25. <laughs> I'm 25, by the way. Oh. Um, anyway. Yeah. Oh, nice little parry there. You go going to keep him in the corner with it too. Oh, but couldn't get the spiral arrow confirmed. That actually all oh, confirmed his own. Oh right. wow. Well, okay. Well. Not gonna spend it though, because he wants to sit on that for next round if he can get to next round. But with this little combo here. Gonna have two bars going into next round, and it's evened up. Can you go steal game two here? Unfortunately for Busa, that was a critical drop. If he had just not, if he had kept that combo, landed his level three to one. Yep. So hopefully he can't. Hopefully he doesn't let that affect him going into this third game. Just wipe that from your mind. Just wait for the next opportunity to confirm. Yeah, he's sitting. In, you know, he's sitting in winners, so he can afford three games. Yeah. I wouldn't want to lose, but you know. No, because but he know he knows that it's not the end of the world. Like yeah. he can still again, we said it earlier, just how big adaptation is. Just knowing that you have this whole set to download data if you need to. But again, you, of course, you, if you could end it in three games, that'd be preferable. But you go not making that easy as he's gonna confirm it in this level three. Burnt out, so this will be good to get some of the that timer going. Chasing him down. Oh, this is Boost's time to fight, though. Yeah, he's I was gonna the, say. He's the land to hit. <gasps> gonna get That's that it. Here and comes the big damage. There you go. Just going to go straight into level the critical art. That's gonna be. That's gonna that be was, more than enough. Man, that's that's at least three camis dead. <laughs> <laughs> smile for the camera. Smile. To take that game two. We're even one piece between Musa and Yugo. So yeah, you were talking about just fighting back in that situation. When Cam when Yugo keeps burning himself out, he does he's inclined to spend a lot of meter. And they whiff three. Neither of them wanted to walk forward. No, I I I've these eyes have seen what this character can do to me for whiffing that. So both of them not very inclined to uh, put themselves in range for a punish. Yeah, that was a crazy Oof. anti very good. Ooh, that's gonna be this, meaty yeah. damage. Oh my big god. Big corner carry, big so damage. Bot. There you go. Yeesh, yeesh, yeesh. Strike throw mix up. Nice oh, wake up DP. I think that's the first one that he's blocked so far. Oh, just ah, barely off for his shimmy. So now, yeah, you got the opportunity. She's burnt out. Take that, take that offense, take your turn, and take that round. Try to EXDP over that. Um, 
I feel like there could have been a, a, turn, a chance for him to take his turn back there, but I think he might have been afraid of the DP. Again, that's something that Yugo has done off of the hooligan. I'm pretty sure that hooligan with the X bar that he did right there was fully charged plus. Really? Yeah. Ah. Because the last time I saw someone challenge that, they had, a, they had a counter hit sandwich. Gotcha. Okay. I know it looks crazy, but it's plus. <laughs> Yeah, I saw the second hit come out, and I'm just like, I feel like there's a fun in there, but nah, you're, you're probably right. Oh, that it, shit, it's that shit is it's plus. Yeah. If you hold that, if you charge it all the way, it's plus. I know that's the chain. I know that's the case for Hooligan, uh, the overhead, but uh, I didn't know about the, uh, I didn't know about the slide too. Yeah, no one really uses it. But I will say that's the first time I've seen it today. The EX version, at least. I haven't seen that move in, ye in years. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been here in years. I think I did it in train mode once. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen anyone actually try to use it on the game. That or on anti air from 40 so, and yeah, I just don't see it. Oh, going to get the wake up DP. Well, so this time I'm going to block Yugo. Wake not up. a good look to lose over, lose half your life at the very start. Yep. And end up in the corner against the DJ. Already getting the light Sobot set up. Oh my god. Potentially this, next interaction, next throw actually. This boy Musa kill. trying to speed run this bracket for me. Oh, doesn't even need drive rush for that. Just gonna be able to go into the kick and take that round. This tournament point for Musa. Get a pop DP. Even you go in the corner. Very scary situation, of course. But now puts himself in the corner with the jump in. So potentially pretty risky. Ooh! Boy, Musa on match point, by the way. Fun fact, Musa almost beat Daigo Umahara at final round. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> yeah. Huh. And we'll never forget it. <laughs> <laughs> no, if, I, if I've had that, you you can tell me anything. Oh, that might be it. Oh, oh he's nervous. He's nervous. Oh, I'm going to backdash there and get out of the vortex. It can't be white mid-screen. But little Barry is going to take it, and that's going to be it. His feel. Musa feeling the energy. And he is your plus two winner. And getting dapped up by Abstract, a man I haven't seen in forever. <laughs> man, yeah. Man, what an exciting way to end the set. I'm happy for Musa. I don't think I've seen him win Street Fighter actually ever. I think one. he won one at 404 like a long, like a while, like during like the first weeks of the game. But uh, but I don't think there were many people there. But yeah, here, especially with this competition. Yeah, he beat competition. most of our best competition, you know. Yeah. That was and pretty he looked impressive. very strong doing it. I mean, I'm, I'm glad I you know, let him have an yeah, easier yeah, path. Yeah, you let him, yeah, you know. You know. You know, I didn't enter, but you know. <laughs> Can't be in everything. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> folks, I'm not gonna lie to you. If I would, if, if it was me, I'm I'm out in 20 seconds. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I'm playing. I know I'm playing Jerry, but I'm gonna come back after our game, and I'm gonna be like, Jerry sucks. She needs more options. She needs buffs. I, you, the balance. What do you mean you can just jump over the fireball? <laughs> I'm like, what do you mean? On. Man, I'm trying to tell you. If I jump, you DP. <laughs> but congrats to Musa. Very good. Very good games for Musa. Good games from everyone. We are now gonna move. On to actually, I don't know if we move on to anything. Let me, yeah, I don't know if they're doing a two v two. Uh, I don't think so. Are we are we doing something else, uh, Marco? Tekken. Okay. Tekken. I guess we're moving on to Tekken. And me, as you know, you guys may know, I'm also a Tekken expert, so I may commentate that as well. <laughs> yeah, I'm most I'm most likely am not because I'm not well versed in Tekken. So I got and also I got my Strive tournament running. So wherever yeah, that is, yeah. <laughs> I think they're running it now. So I'm gonna hop off here. You leaving? Yeah. All right, man. I'll catch you later. Yeah, but I'm gonna hop off here. It's been oh, good games, good games, good games. Way to rep jury. Are you gonna rep it? Yep, yep. All right, all right. Yeah, we're about to swap commentary. We're gonna run the trailer once again for the you guys who haven't seen it.